pay the lowest price at the end of the auction. I know, pretty shocking, right? Uh, but no matter where you join us, no matter what the price is when you call us, you will pay the lowest price at the very end of the auction. Uh, it's a falling auction. Get involved on Facebook. Say hello. Uh, Ross, my producer next door, he's a good guy. Uh, he's ready on the price plummets. Uh, that's what we call them when we take the prices down. Can we see him tonight? Can we see him? Oh, brilliant. Uh, we've got a light that if we switch it on, we'll see them all. Uh, well, when I say all, I mean both. Uh, there's Ross, but also Emily. Uh, Emily's on the front row. There's Ross on the back row. Hi, Ross. Luckily, he's got his security pass on backwards. That's good. Uh, and then you've got uh, Emily in the front row. You're not turning around much today, Emily, no? no? That's fine, that's fine. Be mysterious. Be mysterious. Be mysterious, it's all good. It's all good. We think we think you look great, but be mysterious, it's all good. So, with craft price drop, uh, the price drop, I love this. I love this, how sort of it's an O, but you've worked in a, a downwards arrow to say the price is going to drop. And, um, I only just noticed that. I'm really good at taking in my surroundings. I noticed it ages ago. Uh, so, craft price drop um, is where we take a start price that is normally the regular price is like the the original price the actual price so genuinely when first seen when first launched available now to buy uh, our start price is of 2431 that's where we begin um 2431 plus delivery so bear that in mind it's a 495 power item uh, here on craft price drop um, when you order more than one though you want to think about joining freedom freedom gives you unlimited standard delivery on everything that you order so at 24.31, including postage, currently. It, here's the test, right? If you're brand new to Craft Price Drop, if you call now and make the purchase now, with the details on the screen, what price will you pay? Mm, yeah, a lot of us regular viewers and that will say, well, we've already told us, Matt, the final low price. That's right. But somebody new to the show might have said, well, I think I'll pay 24.31, do I? Um, no, no, everybody pays the same final low price and already that price is dropping so you could come in now make a purchase but you'd still pay the lowest price and from eastbourne you are already in congratulations and thank you to you and you're a freedom member as well my first ever geography field trip was to eastbourne oh we must have been nine or ten years old so that'd be going back 33 years i think ish uh, i'll never forget it i remember it felt like a long way we were coming from a sort of greater london area um, and it felt like a long way to eastbourne but it was a good day a good day had by all uh 23 pounds and one p um what are we getting here i don't know i'd rather talk about my day to eastbourne i'm just kidding so the tailored expressions now tailored expressions uh, these are so wonderful you've got gorgeous words on them and you've got lovely poses of florals um, you've got gorgeous roses in there as well and you've got a gorgeous corner stamp too hmm. oh I was just taking a sip of water and my um, my water bottle made a funny noise <laughs> sound like a uh, makes me giggle. Uh, 43 going on too. Um, so at £19.50, bam, straight down, uh, we have dug down into the depths to make that a low, low price. Not quite yet. Already £5 off, but you wait. You wait until you see what we're really capable of, 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 of by the end of this auction. We're going to keep going. He's a good guy, producer Ross. He knows the score. Uh, he likes the low prices and you cannot lie. Uh, that's not all he, he likes, you know. We've uh, tell you a few stories about Ross over the, uh, over the years that we've managed to garner. Uh, we've got some photo evidence. Um, have a little look here. No, we haven't that really. Uh, yeah, yeah, honestly, it's just, it's just designed to scare him, isn't it? Um, you've got there, you've got your red rubber or pink rubber. Uh, they've been formed at a nice high temperature, so they are high quality stamps and they are mounted. So they are mounted and cut to size, uh, deeply etched beautiful red rubber. Uh, and they're also on the cling board, so, you know, they are there, uh, ready to store. Um, for the next time you want to use them, keep them nice and safe. So you don't need to buy extra storage for them. Oh, I can't, just something inside me wants to, you know how you've got the two holes here? This one's been die cut but it's not been popped out yet. I can't cope with that. I need to, I need to remove that. 
there we go. So we've done that now. You know, when you just you just have to. I think my friend Dan would do something like that. I know, definitely. He's very, very particular. Shout out to Dan. Uh, Dan! Dan, no, he can't hear me. It's no use. Dan! No, no I'll, I'll try again later. Dan! No, no, I'll try again later. Uh, 11... Uh, Dan! Come back. No, no. Uh, 11.14, including your post here. Sorry if my... Did my levels go off? The, so sorry. So sorry if I upset the microphone there. You know you use more battery the more you speak as well. It's true, yeah. On a radio mic, on one of these uh, with batteries in it, uh, yeah, the more you use it, the more the batteries go. Um, 11, we're always changing them for some of us a lot. Um, 11.14 for our lovely stamps, we're getting all, damn! Yeah, there we go, I can't believe he's gone now. Uh, 11.14, including your delivery, for all of your stamps. You can't say that name without doing an Alan Partridge reference, can you? Um, we've got lovely words in here. A single rose can be my garden, a single friend my world. Your friendship means the world to me. Thank you for being my friend. I'd send these to my friend Dan, I think. Um, thank you. Uh, may your uh, love, uh, may your love bloom, yeah? And then you make life bloom. It's wonderful. Um, and they're called the Rosy Posy Stamps here. Now, we did say producer Ross likes his price plummets and he likes his low prices. If you said to us, that's all very well, Colombo, but you've got no proof, we'd say, ah, there's your proof. Just one more thing. Uh, there's your proof. Uh, 9.96 at the moment. However... We only have 20 spaces and already that's gone down to 19 uh, opportunities. Um, 376-415, um, your item number. Uh, double check that so you're getting the right item, you write stamps. This is a board filled with stamps. Filled with stamps uh, indeed here. You're getting all of them uh, on that cling mount. Beautiful that, beautiful collection. Um, it's uh, You've got 15 chances left. Uh, and it's at 9.94. Uh, Jimmy, our director from the last show, is just leaving the studio now. What time is it? 19.08. So that means he's spent eight minutes rearranging the set um, for the one-day special at 8 o'clock. He's very particular. Literally, he's come in after his show and he's rearranged what we call the pack shot, uh, which is what, how we, when you watch the one-day special at 8 o'clock, it's the rice papers and the, um, the stencils um, from Imagination Crafts with Mandy doing the demonstration. Honestly, Jimmy He's been in here rearranging it all. He's very particular. Nine only at 9.90 uh, right now. It's a superb price. Um, order now. It's 376415. Jimmy loves the limelight. Look at him. There he is. There he is. He's pondering. That's his pondering shot. Um, but honestly, a shout out to Jimmy. All our directors are great, but he genuinely has been in here since the top of the hour moving things ever so slightly to make sure that at eight o'clock that that show looks the best possible i'm making a serious point he's a good guy two spaces only at 9.90 it's gone to penny congratulations penny. price lock lovely so he's going back to the set now with more stuff he's doing it he's doing it Okay, uh, lovely to see you tonight. It's at 9.90, that final low price. So if you came in earlier, you would have paid more, right? No. You come in any time and you still pay the final low price on our falling auctions. Have I moved off where I should be standing? Is it inches, in it? I mean, it's barely... Yeah. It's barely our floor manager's just moving the set for us. You happy with it there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Double thumbs up. We're getting, we're getting the double thumbs up. Uh, do you mind if I just angle it more that way? Yeah. Okay. Um, so is that better for everybody? No. No. It's still, oh no, she's joking. It is okay. Um, so Nancy wants to see our Christmas tree. We've moved it, but should we, should we put it back? Oh, Nancy, uh, you do love this Christmas tree, don't you? It's not for me to say, but we could. We should, I mean, it's not mine to give away, but if it was possible to send it to you, we would after Christmas, but I can't say. Um, we have the loveliest of fabrics here, the really loveliest of fabrics. We're so lucky at the moment, actually. Do you know, with, you have to get things while they're there, don't you? I know that sounds obvious, like, oh, grab the deal while it's there, and you know, whatever, and while it's in stock, and I'll oh, get it before it goes out of stock or an extended. But three weeks ago, 
had we seen Perfect Occasions Fabric? No, we hadn't, or at least I hadn't. Three weeks ago, I hadn't seen Perfect Occasions Fabric. So Perfect Occasions Fabric is quite a new thing for me anyway on Craft Price Drop. Um, and who knows if in three weeks time we'll see any more, I don't know. But grab it while it's hot. I think, and this is the other thing as well, we've got five half meters here and the start price is 40 pounds. So, I bet it's at eight. Uh, so we're looking at eight pounds and it's a half meter. So if I choose a nice one with a big print on it, I was gonna take that nice dipsy one, but I think for the TV, it's a bit like, a bit white. Um, so I'll, I'll grab, will it be all right? Yeah, I don't know, I'll tell you what, I'll grab a more sort of patterned one, uh, as opposed to the sort of bright white. Where's the price gone? So 35 pounds. So that's a half meter right there. Um, and that's five of them. You're getting five half meters. So that's two and a half meters worth of fabric. Um, and I've chosen one of the bigger prints, one of the larger prints, like a, a beautiful rose. Um, you've got greens in there too, different shades of pink. Um, and then you've got the blue butterflies in there too. I think this is gorgeous for attrition. And that would look really nice. Um, can you imagine if you're paper piecing as well with something like two inch hexagon maybe, uh, or a one inch hexagon, um, you've got, if I just pretend I've got a hexagon for a moment, um, you've got that amount of sort of um, design available there if you were to move your, your paper piecing around. There's enough of the pattern on this particular one available. That's the rose with the blue butterflies. You've got an even bigger print with birds on it and it's like a sort of focused in version of one of just held up with larger images and then you've got more butterflies over here with pink and blue butterflies so actually each design is really 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 nice um i'd love it i love you heather i think you're so good um heather is tempted she says do you remember heather the other night she's like i might be tempted if it was 100 percent cotton it is 100 percent cotton heather it is I don't think we've written it on the details because there wasn't enough space for it, but it is a very pertinent piece of information. Heather, I can guarantee you, right now, based on the information in front of my producer, Ross, celebrity producer, Ross Kemp, uh, we always make that joke. It's not a joke, really, anymore. Uh, it wasn't even a joke in the first place. Uh, £27.32p plus delivery. My producer, Ross, says, I might go lower, but whatever price you come in at, you pay the final low price. Um, just dial in now, um, 01733 797 100. Uh, we are saving you £13-ish, £12.30, £12.70, um, on five half metres of fabric. You've got your butterflies there, you've got your lovely birds and butterflies. It's going to be a very busy auction, this, for three, five half metres. Five different fabric prints. Um, you've got your lovely floral there, your slightly bigger pink floral, and then the polka dots are really uh, pretty. Um, blues and greens and lighter greens um, and whites on white. Uh, we have 29 opportunities and we're dropping our price even more. Is this the best price in the world uh, at 20 pounds it's half price half price for five half meters that's two and a half meters worth of fabric two and a half meters for 20 pounds and um, we've got only 27 spaces here ready to go uh, if you call us uh, you'll come through to our call center it's 01733 100 uh, if you do it on the website, that's Easy Doors, uh, that's uh, Hotanda.com, and Hotanda, of course, uh, standing for Home of Crafts, Hobbies, and Arts, uh, and it's the dot .com. Um, 703-206 to order at just £20, including postage. It is just that price on screen. Um, when you order as a Freedom member, you don't pay that delivery cost. 18 spaces, now 17. We're looking like they're going fast. 15 opportunities, in fact, that number hasn't stopped. Every half second, it would appear that a chance is going here. 14, down to 13 opportunities. They're going fast, so let's see who is in this auction. Um, don't worry if you don't see your name, it's the Freedom Member L in Peacehaven. Uh, we've also got our other bidders joining us now. Uh, if you see Freedom Member beforehand, that means they're not paying delivery. It's Mary in Ashington. Mary, you've got it. This is a lot of fabric, two and a half pieces of fabric, 100% cotton. 
Uh, and Heather was like, I'll, I'll, I'll be tempted, I might be tempted if it's on the click on. Uh, Ishbel in Edinburgh. Uh, we've got Dawn in Biggleswey. Congratulations to you. Uh, and Charmaine in Edenbridge. You've done it with only two chances at £20. £20, looking like our final closing prize here. Claire in Bristol, you've got it. Price lock. Um, when it's a price lock, everybody pays the same final low, low price. Uh, and our director from the last hour, Jimmy, he's still hanging around. He's still, he's still here. He's prepping the next show to within an inch of his life. Are you happy, Mandy, at the service? Yeah, he's good, isn't he? He's good. He cares. The PT here, he will care. Uh, care about you know things and how they go. So uh, we'll be there with Mandy from Imagination Crafts uh, at eight o'clock for our follow-up show, uh, and uh, we cannot wait to see you there. We hope you can stay tuned. Uh, with us. We've got Emily directing our show with us uh, still. There's Ross. You haven't run away yet, Ross? No, he's still, yeah, he's still there. Uh, and we've got uh, our lovely Ben. He's such a nice chap, is Ben. He's a nice chap. Uh, he's a nice chap. He's, uh, he's floor managing for us uh, today. So I'd like to bring you some stunning scenery and pretty stitches. Um, oh, good, I can. Uh, brilliant. Um, here they are. Gosh, that's, that's fortuitous, isn't it? I was, uh, I was hoping to bring you two books, one of them focusing on stunning scenery and cross stitch, and the other one, uh, I, was thinking, I was thinking, wouldn't it be nice? It's 7.17 at night. I'd like to bring you a book featuring some pretty stitches. And, well, look at what just turned up at our doorstep. It's perfect like magic, like like crafting book magic. Uh, so uh, a bit like our magical stars on the left hand side of the screen as the magic continues. Um, we've got our start price of 39.98. Now, now, how have we worked that out, eh? Let's have a look. Um, see if there's any prices on the back here. If not, then we would just have knowledge uh, of what these would normally cost, but sometimes with books it's actually printed on there. No, it's not printed on there today. 19.99 each normally. There's loads of goodness in there. Loads of goodness in there. I'll just give you a general flip through so that you can see, you can see your patterns and your designs just there. Uh, and at 19.99, you are paying for what? Ooh, the Cotswolds. Uh, you didn't see that earlier when I was flicking through. There's Cot Broadway. Very nice. It's like, when I had a quick look at these, I didn't get as far as page uh, 73. Uh, Broadway is a very nice place. Very nice place to pop songs. Have you ever been? There's a place called Broadway Tower, uh, which was uh, which was built as a um, as a, you can you can cross stitch that view. Amazing with that pattern. So all you need to do is you get your DMC 16 uh, count Ida, uh, and then you've got your design size 13 by 22. So allow a bit bigger. Go for a stitch count there, and you're using your uh, different the DMC cross stitch needle number 26. Uh, and then here are your patterns uh, and your numbers to then correspond to get the different colours. Uh, so those are your uh, DMC threads. So you've got the number 367, 646, 844, and so on. Uh, to actually recreate that scene, that's beautiful. Um, then you've got Venice as well. That's a beautiful Venetian scene there. Uh, there we are. Been to Venice before? Yeah? I've been to Venice as well. Uh, also, famous movie scene from the... Oh, was it The Spy Who Loved Me filmed in Venice when Sir Roger Moore, oh, the late great Roger Moore, came out of the uh, a canal on a, on a hover, on a gondola, but it turned into a hovercraft. That was a, that's a fantastic scene. Um, 1321 it is at the moment. You are getting both books. And that is £6.60 a book. Um, I'd love to show you the other one. That's the stunning scenes. Uh, and then here in this one, um, if you just flick through it earlier, you get like really lovely sort of country kitchen, uh, cr country craft room, uh, you know, village fate sort of sceneries um, and images as well, the sort of colours that you get from there. Um, you can use them hand in hand. We look at that for a home decor, love. So you've got the word love, uh, but you've got the pattern actually in there. You have got a book of inspiration. Would that be lovely on a child's bedroom wall? That's Sweet Dreams. Uh, that's your baby girl Sweet Dreams in there. Baby girl. Uh, and then you've got uh, different designs as we continue with the bear uh, and the branch. And you've got the bicycle. I'll start going from this way. The floral bicycle is one that jumped out me earlier, actually. Um, and there's the birdhouse. Uh, you've got the floral bird cage as well. Uh, these were 19 each. Right now, though, 
Half price for one. Oh, my son's hair does that in the mornings. I can't, when I'm sending him off to school, I can't ever turn it I didn't realise we still had that in common. In fact, you know he's, you know he's had a good night's sleep when I get my little boy up in the morning. I say, your hair is everywhere, but I know, at least I know he's, he's slept well. Um, slept like a baby or, or like a, like a four year old. Let's keep it back, Uh, so you've got your floral home sampler there as well. Uh, there's the summer days, lovely sort of uh, bag there for your uh, summer, summer outings. Love the butterfly garden as well. And the thing is, once these are cross stitched, um, you know they are labours of love, really. So you would you would keep them or you would use them for inspiration for more um, what they call their projects as well. Um, go for it. You're getting both books for ten pounds fifty, uh, paying for half of the book. Uh, but you're getting both of them. Um, Ross, our producer, he quite fancies going even lower. I oh, know. Hang on to your hat. Or your baseball cap or bandana or whatever you might be wearing at the moment. Panama. Uh, down to £9.60. £9.60. Hold on to your 10 gallon hat. Uh, there, I'd love one of those one day. I really would. When, when, when nothing else matters, you know, you just like. When the children have grown up and they can just get away with it all, oh, like, I'm not embarrassing anyone. No family around. 19 spaces only at 960. 960. Um, 837652, just to make sure that you're getting the right item number and the right bundle. Uh, but if you know somebody that is getting into a particular craft, or they love their cross stitch already. I mean, the beautiful thing about cross stitch as well with 17 chances um, is tune in after the break and I'll finish that sentence for you. <laughs> so, the beautiful thing about cross stitch is we've got a few important messages there. Uh, now, I would say the beautiful thing about it is anybody can do it. How do you do a cross stitch? Simple as that. Simple as that. So. You and I can cross stitch, even if we've never cross stitched before, you can start. That's a great um, pastime if somebody wants to pick it up. That's the 10 left alarm, uh, slightly different to the 9 left alarm, uh, which is slightly higher. Uh, there, see, there you go, it's a semitone higher on that one. Yeah, it is, it just gets that slight little bit higher. The 8 left alarm goes up a little bit more still. Uh, and then the 7 left alarm, I think that then goes back then to the 10 left alarm. Yeah, you see it's gone, it's slightly, it's like a short pitch uh, for the seven left alarm. The six left alarm is like a rah! Like, you know, um, it's very, I see the five left alarm is very similar to the nine left alarm. Uh, at nine pounds 60 at the moment. Have we, have we stopped with the alarms now? We're not doing that. Thank you, Ben, our floor manager, multitasking there. Do you do a lot of bird watching, do you? Like that. Yeah. Oh, there's two left, hang on. <laughs> That's the uh, owl sound effect to signify that there is only now one left uh, at 9.60. We're a good team, Ben, I think. We're a good team. But, yeah. Britain's got talent. They wouldn't know what's coming. Uh, Robin. Price lock. Congratulations. You've got the final one there, Robin. Um, good singer is Robin. Robin's got some good songs. If you're after some new music... Uh, go looking for Robin. Go searching on the internet for Robin. Uh, very, very good um, pop star, modern pop star. Um, we've got an ace set here. Something's fallen over. I was taking a rest. There we are. There we are. Okay. Um, these are ace. These are absolutely ace. These are from Die Cuts with a View or DCWV. Uh, and to see the sample, these are, you will have so much fun with these. They, they, they're they going to be brilliant. They're going to be absolutely brilliant. I could see, I don't know if this would definitely work, but you could try it. Put, put it together like that, and it, it's basically just board, yeah? But brown board, yeah? Seal it with something, so paint it over it with a gesso or spray paint it or acrylic paint it so it's got like a waterproof-ish layer, yeah? And then gently power text or something over the top of it so that you actually create a bit of a 3D sculpture. I think that could look quite nice. Yeah, paper mache as well, that's Emily, our director. Yeah, that's inspiring, that is. We do like that idea. Um, she's getting bitten by this 
This crafting bug, I tell you, it really is. Very much so. She got bitten by a different bug yesterday. You were really under the weather yesterday, weren't you, Emily? She's all right today, though. She hasn't missed a day at work. She's been walking around in a jacket all, all day long. And we were like, Emily, take off your jacket. And she's like, director's not hot. So she's, so she's, she's kept the jacket on. Um, we said, no, Emily, take off your jacket. Em's take off your jacket. She's like, no, I'm not. not a, no, I won't say that. Um, so, um, 34.93. And you are getting the deer, the unicorn, and also the standing deer. Uh, and where's the butterfly gone? Is that, oh, it's still here, yeah. Thought it had flown off. Uh, here's the but oh, hang on, where have I gone? Sorry about that. I'm so sorry, it's just, I went off looking for the butterfly. I can't move off my mark, I've got to stay here. I've got to stay here. Here we go, there's the butterfly as well. These are so, so cool and, and possible. You could paint over these. You could uh, personalise it, you could stamp onto them, you could glitter over them, get all your... I mean, because Mandy from Imagination Crafts is in at the moment, imagine like a, a patina or something to really... or sparkle medium going over the top. Do it, you know? All of these supposed wet mediums that would go perfectly onto this brown board. Um, we've got, guess what? Three minutes on the clock, OK? Three minutes. Once we've dropped the price, that's it. You've got to get in there, and you've got to make sure you get yours. Is it, oh, is it an OBPP, uh, please, Ross? Uh, yeah, it's a one big price plummet, then. Uh, down to £12.60. £12.60 straight down. It's a one big price plummet, or an OBPP, uh, for a quite catchy, uh, catchy one. Uh, hang on, oh, we've got to push the clock. There we go. Uh, it's the clock sound effect there. Uh, it's better than the dibbit, 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 isn't it? I, I don't know. Never heard of that one. Never, I don't watch show before. Uh, so we're at £12.60 and it's 2 minutes and 43 seconds uh, left to get hold of your standing deer, uh, your lovely, lovely deer uh, there that you can see on the plaque. Uh, and then we've got the unicorn uh, as well. Uh, and then, of course, you've got your butterfly, the lovely butterfly design um, on a wall. Do you know, I think that would look lovely on Tracy's wall. Tracy, if you don't know Tracy, um, she's the landlady um, at the pub in Whittlesey that I used to stay at. Um, and I think, I think Tracy would absolutely love that. Uh, the New Crown Inn uh, is her pub, and I think she loves her butterflies. I think that would look lovely. That would look lovely on Tracy's wall. I hope that's not too random for you, an esoteric reference. But, yeah, um, we've got some names scrolling across the bottom of the screen. Uh, freedom members mean that they don't pay delivery, uh, which means you're avoiding that 4 95 UK postage per item. Um, we're seeing Diane in Darlington. We've got Sydney in Thetford. This is a brilliant price. Straight down, with a minute and 45 left to get it, you've got to get in now, because that is a one big price plummet. Uh, and it might sell out before the clock goes. Um, we've got uh, Margaret in Newton the Willows, Joan in Newry, uh, Catherine in Dalyrimple, and others. You know, when, when you look at uh, like a, a music combination CD that says, and many more, um, there are many more bidders in this auction, so don't worry if you don't see your name there. Um, order now, your item number's on the screen. Here's one already put together. Uh, you've also got the bigger designs, the uh, butterfly, which is the smallest one, the standing deer. But you've got the really huge, that's the 10 left alarm. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, it's, the, uh, it's the seven minutes, uh, seven spaces rather, with one minute left to go. Now, will we run out of stock before we run out of time? Or will we run out of time before we run out of stock? That's the age old question and the time she ticks away. Uh, with only four spaces at 44 seconds. Time is a cruel mistress, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I just have to look in the mirror and smile uh, and you see everything. Uh, two spaces. Oh, hang on a minute. That's the owl uh, signifying that there is now one space left to go uh, on this auction. Get in there before it runs out. Dawn, you did it. Uh, price lock. Congratulations, Dawn. Uh, with the price lock, boom. Uh, it is closed at £12.60p. 
I think that's three, four lovely projects there uh, for you. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, hello. Sorry, there you are. Um, that's some four lovely projects uh, that we've just stepped up there on that last auction. Three-dimensional projects uh, to bring to life. And back to back, we are so lucky. So lucky to have these uh, with another back to back auction uh, where you've got uh, lots of kits to get your teeth into. We've got two of all of your six designs. Let's show how many we've got straight away because we really don't have many of these. There are only 11. Okay, uh, these are put together in the in the wood. They're like a, a lightweight balsa wood, uh, and all the parts they're easy to put together uh, in. Oh, hang on, that that, um, that wheel's come off. Um, it's a bit like my car. This, um, yeah, you just got to glue it. I mean, you know, yeah. There we are. Um, there, stay there. Um, so you get six designs, two of each. The other designs you're getting uh, are your helicopter, your uh, kangaroos over here. Uh, just, uh, over here. Yep, there we go. Uh, you've got your car as well. Uh, so you get two of the car. Oh, I've dropped the other car. Hold on a minute. Oh, crumbs. Um, there we go. We should be dropping prices, not products. Um, uh, there's the kangaroos again. Um, yeah, there's a horse as well. Uh, there's two of the horses because you get two of each design. Uh, you've got the second one of the plane that we've got put together there. Uh, and I've dropped the helicopter as well. Um, and then, uh, oh look, it's me. Uh, it's a dinosaur there uh, for you on your woodcraft construction kit. So you get two of the dinosaurs, two of the helicopters, two of the planes, two of the kangaroos. You get two of everything. And they are easy to put together. We've proved that you get instructions with them. Nine spaces only. All the pieces are die cut. And you can just pop them out and away you go. Uh, I wish we had more of these. I really do. Um, at half price, I'm just taking a sip of water. Um, oh, there's glue on the floor here. There's, there's glue on the floor. Um, there's 18 pounds. There is actually glue on the floor. That's uh, it's, it's not a joke. There really is glue. There's glue on the floor. It's hot, hot glue. Uh, you go, look, I've peeled some of it off. Look, there's the glue. I've pe I peeled that off the floor. It's glue. Um, no, Leone doesn't use this set. Uh, so uh, 12 99 Oh, from Price Drop. Yeah, yeah. Well, my money's on her, or perhaps, I don't know, it could be on. I won't mention any other name. Um, five only. At 12 99 um, With just five. Now only four. Um, remember, you are paying the lowest price here, and this is way less than half price. Um, we only had 11, I think, to begin with, so apologies if you're missing out on this. Um, with just three chances left now. Um, order now, you've got all six designs, but you've actually got two of each, which gives you 12 three dimensional projects there. It's a pound, one, one pound ten, one pound, less than one pound ten a project. That's a brilliant price. Um, only two spaces left. You can do it by phoning in, you can get them on the web as well, on hochanda.com. The best news is, if you come in now, you will pay that lowest price. I'm still holding my water. So, you know, it's like bigger than parking, it's got something to hold. Oh, it's a little bit of a smidge of a drop. Uh, everybody pays the same final low price. You're down at 12.10. And is that enough to bring in those final two bidders? Because you can't close an auction uh, with two left. You can't make an omelet without breaking some eggs. Uh, and you, you can't close the door, usually, uh, without touching it in some sort of way, unless it's like some sort of weird remote control door, um, or sliding door, I don't know. Anyway. One space at £12.10. You definitely can't make an omelette without breaking some eggs. It's absolutely impossible. Absolutely impossible. Elaine. It's good. You got it. Price lock. Congratulations, everybody. I just £12.10. Um, you got it. Now, uh, are you a Freedom member yet? I hope you are. If you are, you won't be paying delivery on anything. So, at 8 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday, you can order something and not worry about your delivery costs. You can watch that same day at 1 o'clock in the afternoon and still not worry about your delivery costs. You just order away and whoever it is, whether it's us or whether it's one of our lovely suppliers working on direct dispatch, they send it to you and you're not going to worry at all about your delivery costs. Um, so join Freedom. It's 6 97 a month. 
And once you're a Freedom member, that's it. You've got unlimited standard delivery on everything that you order. Everything. I've got a feeling that this could be a very, very popular auction. This is actually really cool, really cool card. I mean, yeah, it's pearlized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, sorry, is this card pearlized? Is this is this card double sided? And is this card also high quality? And please, just you know, tell me, is it 250 grams per square meter? And is it perhaps A4 in size? Okay. Is it, is it textured cardstock as well? Okay, well that's all nice to know. So all those factors are there um, in bright big print. So, you know, when silly people like me come along to prep a show, I can, I can easily see what things are. I don't have to ask questions, it's all there. Um, but you actually get two sheets, double-sided, because it's palescent and because it's heavyweight. You can use it to construct, you can use it to make boxes, uh, die cut as well. Uh, we've tried it on previous shows. Uh, die cut, uh, even if you want to go over there and just sort of brush paints on as well, uh, it will take to it. The lovely thing is, it will, it, it, you've got an array of, of different colours in here. There are 24 designs. If I hold that up, yeah, if I hold that up now, there are 24 different designs and colours. You get two in each pack and you get an array of colours like dark blue, light blue, minty green, uh, lovely gold, dark gold, yellow gold, that kind of thing as well. Should we do an OBPP? A uh, one big price planet. It won't catch on that. It's too like clunky. Oh, you could say, oh, you could say OBPP or OBPD as well, price drop or price plummet. Should we do it? Let's do a price plummet. One big one. Once the price drops, we'll put the clock in as well to add that extra layer of, ooh, what's gonna happen? Uh, with, here we go, we won't push the clock yet, but we'll get ready to. Notice all the reviews here as well, coming through from real customers, including me, I'm a few of them. Uh, it's at £10.80, including postage now. Uh, that's one big price drop, yeah? One big price plummet straight down so that you can get the best price, the lowest price, the quickest low price. Um, and you will pay the lowest price when you come in. Um, the colours here that you're getting, I can just hold them up again for you there. You've got things ranging from the black, the grey, the, 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 the some garnet colour, the peridot colour, the gold colour there, the flesh pink. Um, you've got the dark blue sapphire. You've got this rose pinky purple. Uh, we've also only got two minutes and 24 seconds uh, left to go. Um, you've got the baby blue. Um, you've got the apple green. You've got the red. You've got the gold. I took one out of the packet earlier, actually. I hope you don't mind. Uh, but yeah, um, this is uh, this is really really nice here. Um, it is double sided, so if you want to use the pattern side, you can. And if you want to use the plain side, it's up to you. So it's your call. Uh, plain or patterned, but it is pearlized and it is coloured on both sides. We have only 22 spaces left to go. Um, and yeah, if you inked on top of that, it would resist. Yeah, yeah, to a degree. Yeah. Um, we've got 20 spaces only at 10.80. Now only 19, and also with a minute and 30 something on the clock, which one's going to go first? At our great low price, or is it going to be the time? Is it going to be the 15 spaces, or is it going to be the clock? Is it going to be the stock or the clock? The way to get involved here could be the stock that goes first. The way to get involved is by phoning the number. It's a 01733 number. Uh, you can also uh, do it on the website, on hochander.com. Uh, but your, your card here is 250 GSM. It's pearlized on both sides. It's the 10 left alarm. Oh no! Uh, it's the final 10. With sapphire blue, uh, with a, like a little rose design on that. Look at that, look, go. Uh, two sheets per pack. You've got your burnished gold. You've got your cool white five left with only 45 seconds-ish. Lovely gold on that. You've got a cool red on there too. Look at that. 
all pearlized card, all double sided, with two spaces down to one, with only, how many is that, 35 seconds left to go? It's going to go, and we've only got 30 seconds on the clock. Price lock. It was price locking there at just uh, 10.80, nice one. Great work. Um, yeah, lovely to see you. Lovely to have your company tonight. Uh, you're watching Price Drop, and you will be paying the final low prices on all of the lots. Uh, no matter what you see, um, we've got a few different designs. We've got a few stamps, we've got dies, uh, we've just seen some cards. What is up next? What do you reckon? Rock, paper, scissors, die, stamp, or, per or, or card? This is a popular one. Always popular. The Hillingdon Purse. The Hillingdon Purse is always, always a top, popular, popular design. Construction dies are always a hot favourite, anyway, because uh, you're making something 3D. You know, you're making something to sell potentially if you've if you've made it and decorated it yourself, uh, or you're making it for things that you're selling inside it. Also, all these extra elements here, you've got the clasp and the bow as well. You can see it down here, you can see how it works. It goes over the top, so you've got your bow, and then the clasp little tab sort of goes into that clasp area. Um, plus, if I just show you the, 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 um, the, the, the board, the actual die, don't use this bit, yeah? Don't, don't cut the handle. You, you don't need to cut the handle. If you just want to make more like a pillow box handbag style, Without a handle, a clutch bag, that's it, a clutch bag. I knew it had something to do with cars. Um, $16.99 it would be, and you could make a clutch bag or a bag with a handle. I know my bag. Uh, we're at £16.99p uh, for your real... It is a good, is good thing Emily's here, because we've got Ben, um, we've got uh, Ross, and we've got Matt. Um, by our, and Taz in tech, by all of our names, you're going to guess that we're not really, we don't really know much about handbags. No, no, Ross, our producer, says handbags that are not his forte. Um, but, yeah. Good job Emily's there for us. She's helping us out. And you're helping us out as well. Uh, you've got the knowledge. Um, so, yeah, the lovely Hillingdon purse. It is pretty. You can either cut your detail in or out. You don't need to use that guy there. You can just leave it paid if you want. Uh, but you cut in detail into the flap, into the clasp, and also into the main body of the bag. And you get that deboss detail in it uh, that looks like, um, you, you know, when you're cutting it, because you're using that extra die, uh, it looks like a deboss if you're, um, if you're going tone on tone or that card. But it's not. Um, I just looked at the board here, um, and that's an actual die that's cutting that out. So it could, if it was contrasting card, it would look good. But because it's the same colour card, it looks like a pressed in debossed finish. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. But that's, that's an actual die that cut that. I can show you for real uh, on here. The wheel. Uh, there you go. You've got two designs there. Nice little flats. That should be the handle. And that's the base of your bag there. Very nice, very nice indeed. Um, you get sort of uh, inspiration as well on the back of the die set. Very busy auction, this. Very busy auction. £12.50. Always save the horse impression when the price goes really low. Uh, we have got a price there of £12.60, £12.50, sorry. £12.50. Uh, I had an argument with my daughter the other day about what, what noise the unicorns make. Well, it wasn't really an argument. It was more like a discussion, which was like, she was like, no, 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 no. I was like, they, they, they go, no, like that. She was like, no, no, no. They go, <laughs> like this. I was like, okay, I'll take your word for it. Uh, we never got to the bottom of it, no. no, no. It was late. It was like, a, it was like a, okay, right, should we, should we just call it quits, agree to disagree, and just go to sleep? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, bye. Uh, so £12.40, including your delivery, if you're a Freedom member, you know. Uh, and it's 090440 to order. Serious times. It's an under £12 deal. 
No, you shouldn't have done that, producer Ross. Do you want to come in, me to come in there and, and talk, talk to you about it? Right, I'm coming in there. No, I'm not. I won't do that. Not again. Once a year. Once a year for that kind of thing, I think. Um, just in case. Minimise it. Um, we've got 26 chances. And if you want to get involved in this auction, and you really do want to here, it's 33 99 normally. A £22 saving. This is nearly like 66% off or something. So names on the bottom. I can't thank you enough for being part of the auction and supporting Craft Pressure. Thank you so much for being there. I've um, got Alice in Stowe Market. I've um, got our Freedom member Carol in Newtonland. So you've got P in Basildon. Sharon in Staffordshire, or Staffs. Uh, we've got Colin in Colchester. Sounds like we made that one up, but it's true. Colin in Colchester. Uh, Carolyn Creef, congratulations to you. Uh, Yvonne in Aberdeen. The Granite City, I think, is my nickname. Uh, David in Preston, you've got yours. Claire in Durham. I know it's Durham, don't worry. Uh, Mary in Ashington, you've got yours. Uh, Cherie in Holt, it's nice of you to join us, hello. Uh, Celia in Fairham. Down the road from Farnham, uh, make sure you type the right place into your sat nav, uh, personal experience. And in Eastbourne, lovely to have you back. Uh, and Margaret in for far. Uh, congratulations. Whoa, it's the 10 left alarm, which means there are 10 left. Uh, we've got only nine. Where's the nine left alarm? I don't know. Uh, 090440, just check your item number. Uh, you are getting the Hillingdon purse die set here. For makes, you know, whatever you're putting inside, you'd be uh, you'd be making a, a real life thing in purse, maybe to put things in, you gift the actual purse itself uh, with only five spaces. It's one of the uh, construction dies that you can get your hands on, verso edged, so you can cut your detail in if you want, uh, and uh, you can get yours if you're there for the final three. It's not too late. There are still two left. Some people do like to leave it. Yeah, it is like an extreme sport. You leave it till the very end and you're like, just, you know. Um, one space only at 11.99. Who's gonna get this final one? Price lock. Janet. Janet from Wigan, on a scale of sitting on the sofa for a relaxing Sunday afternoon and going heli skiing, which is when they take a helicopter up to the top of a peak and just drop you out of the helicopter and you ski down. That's a nine, leaving it till the last second on an auction. That is daring. Um, that's good going. Thank you so much, Janet, for coming in. Uh, and congratulations to all of our bidders as well. So, count along with Matt. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six meters of snail's fabric. That is a lot of snails, a lot of snails. Only 10, only 10 spaces. So, um, if every member of So Solid Crew wanted a set of fabrics now, uh, we'd have to turn some of them away. If every single member of Blazing Squad wanted some of these snail fabrics, again, we'd have to say, really sorry, uh, you can't have them. Um, but if every member of Take That wanted two sets, then we'd be able to say, yeah, sure, and even have some left over, uh, because we have 10 spaces, 10 spaces available here. We're going to put a two minute clock on this auction. It's here. We won't push it yet, shall we? We'll drop the price for you. We'll give it one big price plummet. Now, the, the, the clock auction is usually a one big price plummet down. So, one single price drop. That's for six meters of fabric. Um, it is a two minute clock. Sorry, I thought it was a three minute clock. That might not be long enough. Two minute clock, you've got six meters of fabric here. Six whole meters. Look, a whole meter. An entire meter you've got here. A whole meter of fabric.
<laughs> every night, every night, it's the same. It's the same jokes. As soon as, soon as the fabric appears, it's like, is Matt going to do it? Is he going to... No, he won't do it. They're just half metres. Or oh, he might do it this time. It's a full metre. But you really, you, you really wouldn't get this anywhere else, would you? I think there might be a reason for that. There is a reason, isn't there? There's a good reason. You know when people go on Dragon's Den and they say, no one else is doing it? And they're like, oh, yeah, no one else is doing it. Yeah, I wonder why. Um, so yeah, there's a good reason for that. Um, we have only four spaces and we're at 18 pounds. And you're getting hold of six, six meters. That's three pounds a meter of snail fabric um, in all of the different colorways that you're getting here. Ties, that would be good, wouldn't it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, how many? Oh, gosh, I don't know. Quite a few. Um, we've got only two spaces at 18 pounds. Be a lovely fabric. Um, you can phone in, you can bid online. And we've got one space left. People, did you see that disapproving? <laughs> that was me hearing my producer, Ross and Maria, going, oh, people are leaving it till the last minute. There's a bit of a fight for the last one, put it that way. I don't know. I'm so sorry, I can't guarantee it. Um, there's quite a few people... Price lock. Quite a few people want that last one. Hold on the line, and we'll just wait and see. We'll just wait and see who's, uh, who, who's got it. Um, nice to have your company tonight. Thank you very much for tuning in uh, for Craft Price Drop. This is where the prices drop, and you pay the lowest price at the end of the auction. Um, we've got a uh, lovely Mandy joining us from Imagination Crafts uh, next in... My goodness, the hour's gone quickly again, hasn't it? Uh, it's just coming on for five to eight. Uh, and it's time for one more or two more auctions, hopefully. We'll see. We'll see what we can do for you. That's how we roll. Uh, we've got a two-minute clock on screen. So once we've dropped the price on our Just Right stamps, uh, they're on storage as well. You've got them on the cling storage. Uh, we'll see what we're getting first, eh? Uh, yeah, you've got your frames here. Just for you, thank you. Uh, always and forever, always and forever. Uh, and then you've got uh, things like thanks and happy anniversary. And the thing is, um, you can mix and match these, so you can do them in different frames. Uh, just a note, and just for you. Um, so take your frame, and then put your sentiments in the middle. Mix and match your sentiments, swap that one out, uh, and then put that one in. Uh, put that sentiment in the middle, uh, and change it out that way, or just have the word thanks in the middle. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, normally we're looking at £14.28 each. They look really weird like this, don't they? If you just turn them around like that. If anyone's not into crafting, if they're just flicking through the channel, it's like, what's that? What is that? What's he selling on there? What is it? What on earth is it? Uh, it's these. It's these, these earrings. Um, so you've got your cling storage. You've got the holes punched in them already for your storage binder. And you're getting red rubber stamps. Perfect for going into things like hot glue, embossing powders. And we're going to drop the price with one big price plummet. Or even a one very big price plummet now. That's an OVBPPN. Uh, it's, it's gone down to £10.30. Uh, it's going to be a £10.30 deal, including your delivery, to get all the stamps. It's £5.15 a set. £5.15 a set right now. Uh, Hojanda.com if you want to log online and then you could do it. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. I should have started that. Shouldn't I? I apologize. It's okay. I don't know why I'm forgiven. No, no for any reason to tell me. I would. I would. Thank you, Director. Emily. She says it's because we love you. Thank you. I just want to be loved. I just want to have friends. Uh, you've got both sets of stamps here, so 23 stamps in all for just £10.30. Did I, did I deign to put that one back the wrong way up? I am not. I'm just not totally, utterly um, You're getting both sets here. You're getting the Always and Forever medallion labels, and thank you. Uh, you're getting things like the From and To for your tags getting just for you with that ornate frame and they've been deep the edge so you can get that detail there you see it oh you get the oh here's the quantity of a 10 it's gonna be 10 isn't it you hear an alarm and it's gonna be 10 uh 10 opportunities now down to nine 
And this is a real deal. The price isn't going to suddenly go back up in the auction. Um, you know, you're not getting anything less than what you're seeing. This is a real deal where you're getting genuine red rubber stamps, deeply etched, beautifully made um, on a uh, proper clean mount, and they are mounted and cut, ready to use as well. You're getting the real deal here. It is the real deal. Um, only four spaces. There are. Uh, it's a minute left. This is all we've got time for. But we're going to try and squeeze another auction in. Uh, but this is all we've got time for. 18 seconds. 18 opportunities. With only 14 seconds left to go. It's tense. One left. Karen. Price lock. Outrageous. Uh, you've done it though. You've come in right at the end of the auction there. And you've done it. Congratulations. Um, thank you so much for watching today. Uh, it's been lovely having you company. We've got Ben who's been doing our floor managing. He's behind the camera at the moment going like, which I think means like, oh, you're running out of time. Like, oh no, oh, you've got 10 seconds. Like, wrap it up, say something quick. Um, we've got Mandy uh, for our one day special, wonderful Imagination Crafts goodies coming up next. Yes, uh, the one day special with Imagination Crafts. Uh, I've got the Tonic Magazine monthly mega deal on the way as well. Uh, Mandy will be demonstrating for us. We are going to be live for one more hour. Thank you so much everyone for still watching with us. I have been crafting now on television for over 25 years. I love crafting, paper crafting is one of my greatest loves, although my background is textiles and fashion. I love to bring you the very best products and inspire you with what I do, hopefully that you'll be crafting at home. Joining Forces with Craft Buddy has opened up a whole warehouse and a wealth of products that are fantastic. So I use the knowledge that I have to get the very best products for you by working with Craft Buddy to source new products, to design new products, and also walk around their fabulous warehouse putting together kits that are really going to help you with your crafting. Make sure you don't miss myself and the Craft Buddy shows on Hachanda. Threaders fabric adhesive sheets layer up and bond fabrics with these double-sided sheets. These sheets can also be used with the Gemini machine and Threaders die range. Ideal for applique as it keeps small pieces of fabric stuck down, making it easier to sew. To add these items to your order, please check out www.hachanda.com.
Something that struck me watching that video, uh, welcome <laughs> along by the way, thank you for watching our one day special show with Mandy from Virgination Crafts, um, is the mixed surface, just the fact that these paints that we're going to be looking at, along with the one day special, they open up a world, it doesn't matter what surface you're going on to, they're freedom giving in that way, aren't they, Mandy? Yes, because yeah. even the counterpaints can go on different surfaces, they go on to wood, they go on to glass, yeah. um, the... Um, Glass paints again go onto your canvas as well. So I don't think they're just for that, they're prim primarily designed for that, but they can be used in everything. Yeah, so as a crafter, as an artist, you're looking at mixed materials. What do you want to go on? Well, stay tuned. You know, glass, candles, mixed surfaces, upcycling, furniture, uh, bottles, etc. So, you know, you can do it. And also, what a lovely one day special to put together here. Um, to, to anyone who hasn't got the paints, yes, those are available on the show. But what a wonderful introduction to the world of rice paper, for example, and the lovely stencils that you've got I mean, here. Everyone loves the rice papers don't they because yeah. whether you're an um, absolute beginner you've never done it before then it's a great surface to start with you've got all the colors done for you but if you're yeah. more advanced you can pick out every element from them make all your embellishments from them I just I just love a rice paper There's so yeah. much you can do with it and the colors here are yeah. gorgeous and the time the paints amazingly well don't they yes of course yeah they're soft soft <coughs> vintage colors you've got your sepias in there mm -hmm. your pinks um, so the rice papers are there you've got two big ones haven't you down here um, and then one a4 <laughs> Yes, great set to have. Yes, the big A3 rice papers. The bigger uh, means that you've got more functional with a bigger canvas, or you've got maybe, uh, you know, if you want to get, if you want to cut up little bits of it, it's just going a long way. It goes an awful long way. Every, even the A4, you can get so much out of them, you really can. Okay, let's put that to the test then, Mandy. Let's have a look <laughs> at the A4. I can hold this one up actually, because uh, we've got one, oh, we've got it here in front of us. But you know, if I start pointing to that one, I'll start knocking everything over. <laughs> so they've learned their lesson now. Yeah, I will. I really will. Um, watch the three o'clock show today I think it was um, but yeah looking at all the elements you say the A4 will go a long way here's the I mean, proof Mandy I mean you look at this just take have a look at you've got your flowers here so yeah. you can do your flowers you've got the Eiffel Tower you've got a lovely word you've got a gorgeous Greek sort of lady look at the border as well never forget your border you've got yeah. butterflies you've got script there and you've got little postcards and you've even got lace down the corner by the rose so, so much you can use every single piece of this on your project yeah the collage design I mean yes. we'll answer all the questions if you're new to crafting and new to rice paper it's, it's really cool uh, we'll answer all the questions about what rice paper is and how you can use it as we go through the show that's just the A4 sheet so you can see here on the A3, oh, um, you've got even more choice uh, and even more imagery. I love this. Look at the colours, though. It's wonderful. I mean, I've never been to Paris, but I think, to me, I obviously know what it looks like now. <laughs> yeah, you do. You've lived there. You've been but look there, at these yeah. elements you've got. You've got beautiful corners. Look at it. You can cut these bits out. We've got birds coming down. We've got roses. Oh, look at the butterfly. Yeah, the lovely lady here with a script. And you've got this gorgeous um, crown with a little bird in it and the rose. I mean, you pull out all these individual... You've even got a tower going this yeah. way, so it depends which way you want to use it. Yeah, you see new things all the time. And even mm -hmm. here, just behind, you can see like a, what looks like a franking mark or a postmark um, just there. That big display there. You've got another bird down here hiding just above the lady. So and I'm sure it's for another one somewhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. obviously the one you. Yep. You pointed out before. Imagine that if you want to cover your tablet cover, redo a tablet cover. Yeah. It's so easy. You just got to glue that on. You're really yeah, done. <laughs> definitely. You'll see how to use rice papers. You stay tuned. Mm -hmm. um, and look at this as well. Such lovely elements that you've got here. Brilliant background for several canvases. I love there. it because it's it's masculine and it's feminine. You've yeah. got all the different designs there. You've got lovely weathered wood colour yeah. um, with the um, nice plank in here. You've got sort of moroccan detail on there. You've got a gorgeous pink on the roses. Again, you can alter the colour of your rice papers. You can stamp over your rice papers, make them look like a complete different paper for you so just use them as your background they're fabulous it's a great way of topping up your rice yes. paper collection here and getting three lovely designs two of them a3 one of them a4 mm -hmm. but that's not all is it Mandy? of course we get the uh, lovely uh, mm -hmm. uh magic cuts as well don't we and you know how i love magic cuts yeah. they're a lovely velvet board and we can just fling stuff at them i know it sounds like you can put your gesso on you can yeah. heat emboss on them you can put your rust patinas on they don't disintegrate they don't fall apart and they're just wonderful to work with. and designs are glorious yeah they're lightweight they'll sit on the front of your car do your project or on a frame, won't they? Look they don't fantastic. Weigh it down or anything. Mm -hmm. um, really usable images on there, actually. So you've got your leaves and your foliage, um, mm -hmm. and then you've got like the clunky keys that you go metallic with on the locks as I well. Know, but these keys, I know they're one of our recent additions to, to the yeah. um, sets, and I just love them. But on the leaves, I love this set because you've got Christmas there, you've got autumn, sure. you've got spring, you put your um, sparkle medium onto them as your blossoms. It's just a really useful set to have. Oh, yeah, you see the berries yes. on there as well. So you get, definitely get your sparkle medium, you get your red and greens oh, together from the Christmas yeah, so set. Yes, the starlight's gorgeous. Christmas. Yeah. Oh, 
yes. Starlight's definitely all day you're talking. <laughs> Do you know, every every bit of conversation, Mandy, it reminds me why I love Imagination Crafts to the core. I think it's so so wonderful as a, as a, as a company, as a brand as well, um, and what, what you bring us. Love it. And then on the top here, you've got two big, we must point out, these are A4 mm, these are stencils. Mm -hmm. These are great. Again, great as, as they are on their own. But look how many elements you've got there. You've got those gorgeous roses. You can cut them. We're going to cut them up and show you how to use them. Yeah. You've got the music there. You've got a beautiful lace. You've got those gorgeous ballet slippers at the top if you want to do little yeah. girls' cards. That's Remember, you can use on your cards, on your projects, on your furniture, on yeah. fabric. Use the fabric paint and you can use them onto fabric. Gorgeous designs. And then the one next to it then, you've got what we call pastimes. Yeah. And this is really useful again. Again, it's full of lots of bits and bobs. I love the script, the heart. My favourite bits are the lovely little ants. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And he's just little ants. People forget yeah. them when we see them sometimes. I, I saw those first today and I, I couldn't. It was too really unexpected. Really cute. Yeah. And then those corner bits are really, really useful to add in texture and to, um, you know, what's it called? Vintage. Make it yeah, really yeah, vintage yeah. on the yeah. sides. You can go grandeur, like you can go sweet. It's lovely. Glasses also where something's been damaged maybe on the side. Maybe if you go for a faux leather or a wood effect, you can go for like a distress. Gorgeous. Kind of lovely sensor. Yeah, it's a good sensor. You'll see all of these in action mm -hmm. over the shows. Uh, with Mandy, of course, on your Imagination Crafts mixed media collection shows. Uh, the one display Special launch today at 6 p.m. tonight. Uh, this is the follow-up live show that we're lucky enough to have. And then also we'll be here tomorrow, 9 and 1 yes. and 5. All being good uh, with stock because it is a particularly accessible price point to get so much. It's 24.92 today to get everything that you've just seen. If you're into mixed media, it's a brilliant little refresher it's to give you a bit of inspiration price. and yeah. a bit of a mojo as well. So 381435 to order now. We do have a couple of other bits and bobs um, to mention actually. Um, some more magic cuts that are on the show here, Mandy. Uh, again, this is okay. a great design collection here. I, mean, difference I just love Magicas because they're so useful. Yeah. I mean, this glorious, I do say, I love a chicken wire. Yeah. But Yanis put them, offset them together earlier on, oh, yeah. which I haven't done. I, got it, I said to him, oh, it's really good. And it looked oh, yeah. like a um, Moroccan design or it looked like a mandala design. Just the way he got it, looks like the cubes, like the squares. Yeah. Like the cubes. So I thought, what a fantastic idea. And then you've got the flower in there. So again, cut these up. You don't have to use them as they are. Cut them into pieces. Yeah. Use them just for texture in the background. Yeah, use them on good. tags, all sorts. And then with the lace, I think this is so pretty. Yes, and they nice. are big pieces. These are big corners. Yeah. But again, don't use them as a hole, cut them up, use just pieces of them, use your alchemy waxes on them, it looks stunning, we can use alchemy waxes on them, use your starlights on them, put your brayer, your um, sparkle medium across them, they look yeah. stunning. You've got of course two of these designs and then one of the laser cut designs just above there on your mm -hmm. arm cuts um, and above here you know you've got that foliage that you can bend and shape in um, and these other, because you can curve them around like candle holders and things, can't you, jars and, and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, use your yeah. magic bond glue because yeah. it's going to really hold it in place yeah. and again once you've painted the marble add them on or gessoed over them so many yeah. effects you can get they're, they're fantastic yeah. to use yes they are good um 11.95 plus <laughs> because you save me three pounds a day and it's 1650 to add those onto your order uh, with your one day special and as we migrate over this way lovely <laughs> to see different things that you can do with the candle but we'll, we'll get there in a minute um, but this is a nice little combination these two you yeah, know worked well together yeah yeah i i love it i mean this swirl as you know you've been to shows before and i love yeah. this swirl it's so much you can yeah. do with it it's, it's great for a border you can pick out just little pieces it's great for hair if you're doing yeah. a you know a lovely lady so much you can do with it and it's great for all your pace and I paired it up with the um, dragonfly and poppies because I just thought it just played along with that sort of um, wispiness of the of the curls I just thought it looked really cute yeah we can see that if I just turn it around this away as well for our poppies just to see there your dragonflies and your three uh, poppy designs, three dragonflies rather, and then your poppies just behind. And then the, the candle next to it actually, quite handily, it's right there so that you can <laughs> see. Um, what a beautiful, and it is about, a stencil has got to work, hasn't it? You, it's yes. the actual image, you know, it's not going to fall apart as a stencil, first no, of all. No, they're very good quality and miler. Uh, yeah. Myla plastic yeah. and again but these you stencil them through cut them out and make them into 3d embellishments so don't mm. just think of a stencil use it to make your you know make all the bits to go on everything. yeah yeah it's yeah, okay um so 199 to order and that's 998 a third of the stock has gone on that pair uh, of stencils all ready and there's just one last one uh, that we want to just give you a quick heads up on before we start our, our, on any actual demonstration uh, but again it's a lovely little group together here the work done in that, that design collection i picked it again i picked it to go with the poppies and the dragonfly because you think, you know, hexagons, I mean, honeycomb, all that, and it looks beautiful with your um, sparkle medium, different colours through it. Yeah. 
Okay. You blend three colours together, it's lovely. The love, live and laugh one, I think it's a perfect size for your canvases, your card making. Mm. The leaves, again, are used for anything. And then uh, the lovely little butterfly with the swirls yeah. there. Just You don't have to use it all, just pick out elements of it. You can just use the swirls, just the flowers. It's just really, really easy to use. Yeah, a good sense really goes on a yeah. long way, mm, doesn't it? Mm. If you're embossing with it or if you're pouncing through it with your sparkle medium or your, uh, sorry, starlights or, or going mm -hmm. through it with your sparkle medium as well. Mm -hmm. And blending too, getting your ombres. Um, not surprised to hear this news actually a quarter of the stock on, on this set and it's also just under ten pounds uh, to get it seven eight one five two zero um with mandy doing the demonstrating for us you've got all the uh, items on the website of course shop by brand as well uh, with imagination craft uh, but you can see there you've got your different paints available uh, now there are three uh, different types uh, of paint that we're looking at um, you've got your starlights you've got your glass paint uh, and you also then have your candle paint uh, and we've got them all handily out in the studio actually to uh, save you going searching for them we'll start with the candle paint first mm -hmm. then, Andy. yeah um why specifically candle paint and that seems like an obvious question but to anyone watching um why well, anyways, it's designed specifically to go onto your candle, so it's got a binder in it that yeah. binds onto the wax. And the good thing about these, what I absolutely love, is they are fully burnable. Right. So it's not going to spit or splutter when you use it on its own. Yeah. Um, the colours blend beautifully, and they dry really quite quickly as well. I mean, if you're going to cover a, you know, a couple of coats, then yeah. I'd leave it overnight. But to stencil onto a candle, you're ready to go, really, after about 12 hours, really, to go on there to say this one. But the colours are just amazing. But again, we can do it on all different surfaces as well. But yeah. this is, you know, for burnable candles and to decorate, gorgeous. Yeah, I mean, I've never had the pleasure of seeing candle paint. I'm sure because it's always sold out too quickly. <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm interested to hear half the stock is gone already uh, on the candle paint bundle that you're seeing at the top here. Lovely colours involved in there. Um, you've got your amethyst, your bright fuchsia, your pearl and your dark orchid. Dark mm -hmm. orchid is here. Uh, you've got your amethyst over here with your nice rich uh, colour. Bright fuchsia is the hot pink. And then the pearl. I mean, wow. That, that Like on a white candle, like pearl, white on white, it just to pick up a little bit of an gorgeous, ombre. mother of pearl then. Yeah, but again, yeah. the, the um, orchid there will act as a shade to make the other two, make the other three darker and a pearl will act to make the other, the other three lighter. The magical keys, yes. of course. The Magic bullet. The and white yeah. Pearl and white, the magic bullet. Yeah, all that to tone up or down. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, okay, grab your starlight paints today. The starlight paints anyway are just lovely, but to get them to be able to go onto a candle and have it as a burnable candle um, is even better. Uh, Eight one four five one nine to order now. Nice to get those with the five pounds off. <laughs> Do you think they'd sell out anyway without that five pound saving? I think so. Yes. Yeah, uh, <laughs> but you've got that saving anyway. It's a nice generous gift. Um, also, another five pounds off for your um, glass paints now. Again, formulated to go onto your glass. They've got a slightly different texture. They've got more of a, a shimmer and a texture, although they are starlights. Um, great for your glass. Cover them really well. Yes, Buy a cheap you can see that, yeah. <laughs> cheap bottle, sponge it over, and you get so many different effects. I mean, that's a really cheap bauble. Yeah. But again, two coats and you're done on that one. Two coats and you get mm -hmm. that full coverage and you can see there and the light sort of semi-translucency mm, so you can sort of there. shine through so you can still see what's inside. You're not blocking out what's in there necessarily. Look at that shine on the outside. It's got, it's got a texture to it as well. Yeah. I mean, and think, I mean, sat watching TV now, you know, I mean, if we were at home now, Mandy, if we were thinking about where I sit and watch the telly, within five metres of me would be a piece of glass that I could find that I could upcycle straight away. Mm -hmm. Whether it's a glass that I've kind of, I don't really like anymore from the cupboard that doesn't match with all the others, or if it's a bottle we've just finished drinking, there's something that we can upcycle. So there'd be something at home maybe uh, that you could get your glass paints onto. This, this is just gives you a lovely finish. And then the mm -hmm. starlights as well. Um, we've already seen two types of starlight but these are like the, the classic starlights. These are our classic yeah. starlights yes so again we can paint with them we can stipple with them we can stencil with them we can stamp with them we can braille with them we yeah. can do all sorts of watercolors color a paste up make spritzes so much you can do with these so versatile and they're all intermixable. Pretty much any surface you want to go on as well I mean pretty Glass, much. Glass, wood, yeah. plastic, yeah. acetate, concrete yeah. all sorts of stone you can even put it outside just put an acrylic varnish on the top and you can use it outside in your garden Amazing. as well. Amazing indoors or outdoors. Yes. So I, I think this is very important uh, like to Sue as well, Sue Baker, yes. um, when as a crafter you, you want them, as Mandy, you want them to be able to go on pretty much anything. You don't <laughs> you want know. to buy something and it does yeah. one thing. 
But yeah. you, you don't want that. You don't want to buy. You want one product to do many things, yeah. so you can use it in different ways across your home and your crafts. And that's what you get with Star with the yeah. Imagination Crafts that's and our Starlight they're range. They're so they're so popular. Yeah. Um, so the Starlights were um, some of my favourite paints. Honestly, Chartreuse Dried Rose, uh, and you've also got the green uh, and the pink <laughs> blossom uh, in there. Pink blossom, lovely dried rose. I mean, look at the dried rose on there. It's a stunning colour there. Uh, and then the Chartreuse is that uh, gorgeous golden colour uh, on the left hand side of your screen there um, you've also got things like your media sprays and the imagination craft um, sparkle medium all in uh, brand new bundles things that you may not have already seen before they're all on the website uh, hochanda.com um, Mandy I know that you've been very busy today getting demonstrations ready. Yes, so, we have. Um, what have you been planning to do today for tonight's show right we're gonna do a nice little canvas to show you how you can use your rose stencil as an embellishment yeah, okay stuff. but first of all, what I'm going to do is I need I'm going to um, do some paste on the back background but I need to make my paste up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the my favorite everyone loves the structure paste okay if you've never tried it before then please try it it's everyone loves it they rave about it yeah. the only loves it everybody loves this paste because it's full of marble dust and it dries quickly and it's pure color so it's yeah. pure white so it takes the color beautifully I should add a caveat to what you just said actually when it's in stock oh yeah <laughs> we do sell a lot of it yeah it's, it's just we how do. many times have you seen this go to the web on an imagination show and yes. we scroll across we say oh yeah there's the structure paste with the spatula like, oh that's true you know, <laughs> keep scrolling keep scrolling that sold out last <laughs> night or whatever um, yeah it's going again so do, do order it yeah. as early as you can nearly a third gone we only launched at six o'clock with this one the, this, this is lovely well. though but look how smooth this paste and it's thick it's thick, you know, so it's not going to, it's really easy to use and smooth. So what we're doing is I'm popping some down on my mat. Okay. Let me just get a piece of cloth to wipe that off. Two seconds. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to get some of my dried rose from my Starlight. Yeah, that, okay. yeah the classic Starlight. Yes. And I just want some colour in. So I'm going to put some on my mat here. Because I put far too much gesso out there, so I don't want to use it if I don't have to. Okay, so I'm just going to get my gesso and I'm going to start mixing this in. It doesn't take long, a few seconds to mix it in. Because I want to get a coloured paste, but I want some um, texture in it as well. So I'm going to put a bit more, I think I'll probably use it all actually. A bit more structure, yeah. all of the structure. I'm going to use okay. all of it because it's out anyway. So okay. it's going to give quite a light, a delicate paint. Actually, yes. it's still quite a, yeah, yes. a vintage paint. It is actually because. The colour is so rich in the paint, yeah. it goes awful long, a little goes an awful long way. So what I always say is, when you're colouring your paste, always put a tiny bit of paint into the paste, rather than the paint, uh, lots of paint into the paste. Yeah. So get your paste out first and add a little bit of time, because the colour, especially in the blues and things like that, and the greens, it's very, very vibrant. And you end up having a whole pile of paint that you don't really need because yeah, you're adding too much paint yeah, into it. Yeah. Okay, so you can see now we've got this beautiful, soft, vintage paste now. Okay, so if I bring in the canvas, so what I've done so far, so I got this canvas. Okay, see that? Yeah. So I've used some of the paper, the A4 paper yes. from the ODS, and yeah. I've just literally used my decoupage plus glue and I've glued it on. Yeah. Simple. Don't worry about these gaps because we're going to fill these in. Never worry about gaps because we're going to colour them in with wax and things afterwards. So I'm using. Uh, the stencil, and I'm using the bit the music part here. Okay, so we're going to just take our paste, and if you got, if you can see, you can see, I can see it in here now. Can you see it shimmering? Yeah, you get that. Real so you get a gorgeous there. shimmer to the yeah, paste the because gilding. exactly. Yeah, but it's a, gilding flakes inside. But it's sort of a muted down sort of um, texture. So I'm just going to pop it down. So it's a little bit softer because I've added the paint to it. Yeah, and when I lift that up, oh, lovely finish. see, get gorgeous bits on here so again just a little bit I wouldn't normally waste this I'd put it all in a pot and use it Oh because yeah, yeah. in a pot it will stay wet a while then you can just keep using it okay and this one sort of colors I use often oh, so it's the sort of color I would use okay so we've got that there I'm just gonna pop that Straight into the into, water into the water there, yeah. out of the way okay and then I'm gonna just pop a baby wipe on that because I'm gonna keep it moist until I decide that I don't want it anymore. Yeah, okay. Great so I'll pop that to one side just for now. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the rose stencil again. And this time, I'm going to colour the roses straight onto some white card. So I'm taking, I did this earlier on, same thing. So I'm taking the, um, a brush, oh, kitchen roll this time, I had the kitchen roll last time. And I'm, I'm just going to take off a tiny bit, because I don't want too much. And I'm going to start in the centre, 
of my flower and I'm going to start going out. Now at this time now I'm going to start using this baby wipe, a damp baby wipe, mm. because it will help me spread the colour and I don't want it too dark on the outside where I've taken a lot of paint on my brush. Okay, so we're just going to brush the paint. And you see where I'm just going to quickly oh, brush the paint. Yeah, yeah before we, you've even lifted yeah, the we, stencil I can get yes. an idea of how gorgeous this so is. We did this before on, on, the, on the canvas, but I just want to show you how you can make these beautiful embellishments for your canvas. Now what you can also do then is you could, if you think, oh I don't know, it's a bit too pinky, take a tiny bit of gesso onto your mat, yeah, and then you can just start adding the gesso. And what happens is it vintage that down and give you more matte colour. Yeah, so that's all you that's all you can do. It's really, really easy to build up your your flowers. And then what you do, you do the same again we did earlier on with the leaves. I'm going to damp my brush down this time because I want it even softer. Okay, excess onto my towel. And then I'm not worried about anything else. I'm just going to go th straight through. Because what I'm doing, I'm only doing the leaves there because I want to start doing a, a few of them. Okay, yeah. we do a lot of them. And I'm just going to take a little bit of white again. You and can see it's really you, softening you, it down. You didn't take your stencil down, so are you just trusting it not to move, or is it slightly sticky if you put like a. I, I just trimmed it, it, but I, what I would recommend is putting a little bit of the um, Craft Companion sticker spray on the back. Spray, okay, only a little bit, though, because otherwise you're going to tear your cardstock. Yeah, so just, yeah. be, just be careful with that, okay? So if you carry on. Okay. Oh, oh, that is so lovely. Can you see those? It's still sparkly. You still get the shimmer, but you've knocked it back with the yeah. gesso to get that more vintagey oh, look. Do you see? Yeah. Really, really quick. Then all you're going to do then is we're going to cut them out. Let yeah. them dry first, or, or heat them. Heat all doesn't matter. Let them dry. That. I've got that there. So you, then, you know, you've given a stenciled image, a lovely three-dimensional. I mean, it's gorgeous. To learn and it's just by that. darkening the inside, yeah. darkening the inside, and then coming round. There's so many pretty yeah. effects you can do, mm. and it gives you a chance to play. I know it gives you a chance to play with your starlights. It really yeah, does. Because actually, thinking, yeah, oh, I can do the that. Off, yeah. Exactly, and get your gesso out as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, what I've done here is once you've mm. cut them out, just cut them out into individuals. Mm. Okay. So I've cut some flowers and I've cut some leaves and all I've done is I've done my <laughs> pads on the back again so it's yeah, always yeah, my cardboard it's always yeah. my cardboard isn't it yeah. but we will use those then to decorate around our our canvas so I know we've got it wet at the moment but what I've got here also is I've got these beautiful magic cups I love magic cups so I'm just going to get a brush and I'm going to use the alchemy wax the gold okay I'm just going to take it out of my pot. I've only got very li a li little left, you see, in my pot. Yeah. Because yeah. I use it a lot. Yeah, it's going to pop so, down. Hey, I do. Just top yeah, notch. it I is. I mean, basically, you can do uh, everything that you can do with a like a normal gilding wax, an oil-based one, but these are water-based, aren't they? Water-based, yeah. so you can paint with them, you can stamp with them, you can stencil with them. When they're dry, they're permanent, so you can buff them up like a furniture wax. Yeah. Okay. So there we go. I'll do our beautiful lace magic cut. So I've got some here ready to go. Okay. And also what I've done is I've taken the um, Magic Cut and I've, done, I've used the leaves on this one, okay. So I'll just take, all I've done is just literally got my Starlights, that's the green star, and I've pounced it over, okay. Then what I did was I got my Sugar Mouse in my Sparkle Medium and I've just literally, where I wanted to add some little bits of colour, I've just popped it on on the edges and you can see how that yeah. it's such a lovely good, really really nice color so that's our elements made up now okay a tiny little bit of each one of these yes so. it doesn't take it doesn't take much yeah. just move that so you can see what I'm doing I'm not my arm in it yeah <laughs> which I normally do you know me I've done it before yeah so <laughs> so I've got my you like me today <laughs> yeah we're both sort of, yeah so I've got my magic cuts and I'm going to add them to um, my canvas, but I'm using my Magi Bond, which is a really good glue. Yeah, so you know, I'm terrible like this. Way. My fingers are on everything. Mm -hmm. So it's I'm a just way of getting it though into the intricate areas. The Magi Bond you coming in on your screen at the moment. Uh, you get the um, uh, 100 mils of the blend. It's the blend uh, and the Magi Bond as well yes. uh, in a double pack, and it's 10:48 plus delivery. It's 217519. And they're great if you're doing your want to do the acrylic pause or well, the yeah. counter did earlier on you need your magic bo your magic blend, your magic blend. Yes, yeah, yes. yeah 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 so, at six o'clock show watch that on rewind on the candles it's, it is great yeah Yannis he Yannis did it <laughs> did he have fun doing that yeah he used to pour in it yeah he's, he's so delicate when he poured it i mean i just i just bung yeah. it on <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah I know. <laughs> so there i'm just adding 
bit of the match cut there. And what I do then is I would just normally cut this off. I'm just going to tear it off. Yeah. That's because it's easy, easy to use. Okay. So that's what we've got so far. So we've added our paste on. Yes, then what we're going to do... You've got the starlights, you've got the, yeah, uh, you've done that. a bit of gesso in with your starlight to do the roses through the stencil. We have, yeah, with starlights. Yeah. So we're just going to start adding the flowers. And this is what I like about these the stencils, is you can just do what you want with them. And, it, you know, think of them as making your 3D elements. Don't think of them just flat pieces of, um, of paint. Use your paint to create dimension and then use your flowers to create your um, scenes. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just simple. There's this. This is how quick and easy it can be. You know. So, you pop them down, and then what you can do is you can start adding your little leaves in. So, all I've done is cut them out. And because they, you can see they're straight, but you're not going to see that once yeah. they're tucked yeah. under. Part of it's lost in, Exactly. Yeah. And you can just shape them round. Okay, so again. Just swap them and under. Again, all of this is doing your mixed media. You're, you're, you're working with different types of materials, bringing something else to the foreground, tying exactly. it in with the background at the exactly. same time. And then we've got this wonderful, I do, I love, I do, I know I go on about them all the time, but I love the Magicats. Mm. You can fling anything at them. <laughs> I'm just yeah, gonna you can. I, I love that phrase as well because you can. You can literally wet dry whatever it is. The magic cuts they'll yep. keep they'll, their structure. Yes, you can feel them. They're actually quite it's quite stiff. Yeah. The paint seems just make them even stiffer. You know. Mm. So and this yeah, is just and this is just starlights on here. That's all that is on here. Let me take the excess. Yeah, if you've never worked, worked with the magic cuts before, you do get them in the one day special today, and you're saving eight pounds on the one day special bundle. It's good value. Twenty four ninety two for all your elements. Okay. So we just pop that down like that. So we're just creating all our dimensions. Let's use my leaves, I like them. Yeah, Nothing exactly. matches, I never match anything, it's just whatever I've got. <laughs> and I just love these uh, leaves and things, they just look great. And when you mix and match, it's just just, just great to, to, to play with them, you know? So you've got this one here, which I haven't put any carpet on, we'll put it down here. And it all stemmed from, I guess, a very nice canvas in the first place, um, but also a th A3, uh, so a large rice paper as well. Well, that's, it. that's so much you can do. I mean, I chose to use it as, as one piece, yeah. but you don't have to. I've also got this lovely lady's face that came out of it. Yes. Okay. So if I get a bit of my um, decoupage plus glue now... Yeah, she was on the same sheet, wasn't she? She was on the same sheet, yeah. Just, yeah I've, just, I've just torn her out, that's yeah. all. So what you can do is you can just stick her onto a card, or you can paint the back with some um, gesso or some acrylic paint. I'm just going to pop her on as she is. So I'm just... I also I always brush from the inside to the outside. That way I don't tear or get caught up in the edges of my rice paper. So I just fancy having her. I don't want a clock. I want it prettier. Clock's industrial. I don't want industrial. I'll have her there. Yeah. I'm just going to go around that pace because it's dry enough. So this okay. is you looking at the A3 rice paper design. Think you're playing with it now. You're you're deciding. You're moving elements around. It's, you're redesigning. Yes, it's yeah. your it's yours to play with. You can just do what you like with it, you know. And then you could either. I mean, I did it with gesso and black on the sides. But then just just colour the edges in. You know, your paste will be dry. But we're going to go around. That's nearly dry now, actually. It's quick, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And then we're just going to go around with our Acme waxes. Blend it in. Sort of softens it all in and blends it in. Yeah, it? It, just, it just makes it more vintage. Yeah. So if I show you the finished one, what we've done. The one you're using as your inspiration here. Yeah, yes. nice so this is the one we've want to, it's yeah. finished. So all I've done here now okay. is I've put gesso around the outside okay. and okay. then just put the wax on top to give it that vintagey oh, yeah. feel. So but you can see there, well. the only difference is I've used the white paste and put gold wax on top of that, yeah. but I just wanted to add a bit more pink because I just thought it needed more pink. L lovely to know that both designs are the same, but they're not. They, you, you know, you'll never repeat the same thing, but oh, you'll use one as inspiration. But yes. well, that's lovely. You're hand-making things to sell, hand-making things to give to people uh, and just make making something utterly unique, even when you're trying to make the same one twice, oh, never they're so. not exactly the same, never. which is the wonderful thing. Everything's unique. <laughs> Everyone's unique. Um, it's beautiful. Um, thank you so much, Mandy. It's a great demonstration thank to you. provide for us tonight. Um, I go and have a look on the website for all the items that we've just used with Mandy. Something we haven't used yet are the ink sprays. These are the misters, uh, the uh, lovely ink sprays that you're getting in black. 
uh, you're getting dark brown, light blue, the sunshine colour and the light uh, green uh, as well. All of those ink sprays are available in the bundle for £17.45. Uh, including delivery if you're with Freedom, plus delivery if you're not. Um, order now on the web or the phone at 035532. Um, so wonderful Mandy joins us for our one day special. Uh, and our one day special is a whole collection here uh, of rice papers and magic cuts uh, on the middle row here. Uh, and also you've got your two A4 stencils um, and then a little bit of inspiration next to you just here um, in that piece of art. You are getting everything in the bundle uh, for $24.92 plus delivery. Um, and are you into your mixed media or is this your first journey into it? Are you thinking of toying with it and you just want to get started? Well, this is a really nice collection, a really handily put together collection uh, for you. If you just want to dip your toe in, there are multiple, you know, you're not, you're not just buying two stencils here. You're getting multiple designs in in one stencil uh, and then multiple designs in your other stencil so across both you're getting lots to play with you're also getting a little taster of the magic cuts now uh, now these are a board uh, media board uh, which has been laser cut uh, with foliage uh, leaves but you've also got the keys there as well um, that you can throw media at you can gesso them and cover them with something you can you can black gesso them and gilding wax them you can get them wet with your paints you can throw pretty much whatever you want at your magic cuts and they'll keep their structure they won't just dissolve and fall apart and you know what the same can be said of the rice papers as well um, they're very very sturdy and what you do is you you take elements out you damp them with a little brush extract little elements pull them away uh, when they're wet and build them in with your decoupage glue your decoupage medium um, on the back of the front think of it like wallpapering but in a crafty sort of way um, and you're getting all the designs that are in the rice papers too so is it your way of upcycling something, renewing something maybe, making something fresh from scratch, uh, or maybe getting something old and a bit battered like, like me uh, and giving it a little bit of a, a refresh maybe, a piece of furniture? Uh, well, your rice papers, you get this A4 sheet here uh, with all of the elements on it, and then you get the two much bigger, obviously double the size, uh, A3 sheets here, brilliant for a background on your canvas, um, and then brilliant for your elements here uh, on this particular one with your Parisian um, motifs, if I just unfold it for you so you can see it. Um, 24.92 plus delivery gets you everything we've just been through. 381435. Um, as I make my way to the magic cuts, you can see a lovely example there uh, of how best to use all of the elements. Uh, but that's not how only to use them, that's just inspiration, purely inspiration. Um, we've got more magic cuts for you, and we've got a pair, actually, you know, pair it's three different designs where you're getting five magic cuts in total for 11.95 plus delivery um, you're getting two of this honeycomb style uh, really cool thing Yanis did earlier on which was uh, place them sort of like that and you get like a cuboid design uh, and then you've got your lovely uh, flourishes as well that's the honeycomb uh, and then over here uh, this is your flourishes on your lace now again you get two of those uh, in your magic cuts they've been laser cut absolutely gorgeous um, brilliant for creating your corner embellishments on uh, a canvas uh, or going round something they bend they curve they go round uh, bottles and glasses to add a bit of texture um, you've then got this uh, uh, magic cuts design there uh, which is laser cut with your wild flowers so there is one of those uh, just here in this bundle so five in total for 11.95 we're saving three pounds um, one six five zero four zero seven seven um, and then we've got a, a lovely pair of stencils. Mandy's put these together for us today, where you've got the big A4 with that gorgeous big swirling flourish, almost like feathers. It's as, so if you can play a game with, say what you see inside there. Um, and then you've got your um, poppies uh, with your dragonflies um, in the smaller six by six inch stencil. Lovely poppy detail in the foreground. And then your three dragonflies just buzzing and hovering above the poppies there. That's your six by six. Um, you can see them both on the, uh, a candle there, actually, on the candle next to me while I put the stencil back. I'm um, using the candle paint. Now, um, you could use your, your starlights or, or, or something, but the candle paint specifically specifically formulated to go straight onto wax uh, and it's burnable as well keep an eye on it but you can burn it uh, at home 199590 to order now and then there are a selection of four stencils again pieced together uh, by Mandy who's demonstrating for us today uh, she's chosen these four together because they give you a nice spread you know you've got a naturalistic um, array here of like fern leaf style 
Um, you've then got your sort of more magical, fantastical swirls and stars and flowers, uh, along with your butterflies going in all sorts of directions. And then you've got the more measured, more, uh, more mathematical uh, hexagons. But then you've got the craziness, the haphazardness of no hexagon or smaller hexagons. So it's still a little bit of a, a mix there. And then you've got the words live, uh, sorry, love live and laugh. Brilliant for a sentiment on the front of a card or, or inside a card, maybe on an insert. Uh, or can you imagine, oh this would be nice, um, can you imagine stippling through with, because um, we've got one at home but we've not used it for ages, um, like a clear sticky ink pen, like a Versamark pen, but you can imagine going through the stencil, lifting it, but then embossing that on the inside of a card, I think that'd be really nice as a sentiment. Um, 781520, um, snap out of it Matt, uh, have a little look at hochanda.com for these and everything. Uh, you've got your uh, sparkle mediums in there, you've got your alchemy waxes, uh, you've got your mist sprays as well, uh, and you've got your wonderful starlights. Um, what a gorgeous, for me, a, a showcase product. Um, if I think Imagination Crafts, uh, of course I think of Mandy and Sue, but I also think of, of the starlights. So what do you think of when you think Imagination Crafts? Do you think of the lovely things that you've made? Do you imagine the sparkle medium? Um, well, we've got that lovely li love, live and laugh stencil next. Uh, I, do, I love this yeah, one. It's, it's, so, it's cute. It's a nice size. It's a, it's a, yeah. As we say down our way, it's a tidy size. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a tidy size. Right? Tidy size. And you can use it on so many different things. It's a perfect size words for everything. Yeah. So what I thought we'd do is I'd do a quick set of four, believe it or not, of four yeah. posters that made a really, really quick Christmas yeah. gift, wedding gift. You know, these cost one ninety nine for four. So yeah. I mean we're gonna, you know, really, really quick. Did they okay. or did you take them off our uh, outside toilet? Outside I, know, but I did drop I did drop it earlier when I was getting out. Or did you all know? <laughs> Don't <laughs> ignore the corner missing, I dropped that. <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm clumsy. Make sure you pay for your slate. Oh, yeah. I should do, shouldn't I? I'm in the right place, I live in Wales. I've got lots of slate. <laughs> yeah, there's right. slate everywhere. <laughs> right, so what I've got on my mat now. I have got my um, candle paints here. Just oh. show the different surfaces they work on. So I've got this beautiful amethyst, gorgeous pink. Fuchsia. I've got the pearl. Oh. But what I've also got is a little bit of green starlight because it's different surfaces working on. Okay. So I thought what we'd do is quickly, is I'm just going to take the pearl and I'm using my brush and stippling through. I mean you could use a, a sponge, ink blending sponge, mm -hmm. but I find I get more I like my detail going in with a with a some sort of stencil brush. Yeah, you can get in there with the bristles, can't you? Yes. Yeah, get the stipple. Yes. So again it's lots of it's light stippling you want. You don't want a lot of paint on your brush because that'll give it ble it'll bleed, go underneath and you'll get it really, really blobby. But what you can do is build up your texture by applying thin thin layers as you go. Okay. So we're You're just going to do it. Pulling the gilding flakes out here as well. Yes, the sparkle, the wax is yeah. beautiful. Yeah. So we've done that one there. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to take some of the pink. Again, you can see I'm only taking little bits at a time, and I'm just going to pounce again through my my butterfly, and you'll see how quick these are to do. Okay. So we've got that there so far. Okay. She says once she gets it off, and I have no nails. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, oh. so that's our first stage. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to take this, what we call the tropical leaf stencil on our set of four, and I'm going to start adding, okay, a little bit. Just to add that little finishing touch in a corner, okay. So again, I put a little bit of stick and spray onto the back. Yeah. Remember, it's got to be the purple one. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. the temporary one. Yeah. The temporary one, yeah. And then I'm just going to pop little leaf details on just here and there when it dries and it shimmers it's gorgeous it is really really gorgeous so we've done and our first one coming together. okay so that's our, on that. yeah. Yeah. But when it dries it really does sparkle so that's number one yeah okay we we'll do number two now number two i'm going to use a tropical leaf okay it's okay. so how quick this is okay mm. so again i'm going in my green Love and i'm just yeah, but it's personal then, because you've, you've made it, you know, but it hasn't cost you the earth. And I, I always think, I don't, I mean, a lot of people saying, I would rather have people's time than posh gifts or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, someone you know? spent time on it, yeah. Yeah. They've given you their, their gifted time, they've spent time thinking about you, exactly. thinking about what you'd like, and, and actually then physically making it as well. Exactly. And I think that's, that means the world to me if someone yeah, does that. Me also. Or we have a day out together. We don't have presents, me and my brother and Mrs. Lott. We, we spend a weekend together or somewhere and have it out, yeah. your own company. It's time, isn't it? It's time. Yeah. So, so there we've got 
our leaves. Okay, but what I've got then is I've got a little brush here. I'm going to take some of the pearl. I've only got a big brush here. I'd use a th finer brush for this normally. And then what you can then do is you can start adding in like shade, yeah. the tiny little highlights. I mean, I'm not one for shading and things. I just add it where I want it to be. So just a little glimmer yeah. on the edge using your um, pearl. That's why the pearl was so useful in your crafting. We've come in even closer there because it's quite dark on the black slate menu, but yeah. we can see exactly can what you you're see? doing. You're adding a, yeah, with a light the pearl, Yeah. There. This is like when it dries, it looks amazing. So I will show you the finished ones, but you can see on the, the hint, okay? Yeah, so if I turn it up, there yeah, you go, there see? You go. Yeah, there you me. go. <gasps> yeah. You can see? Yeah. So that's number two. Done. Okay. Nice. There you go, it's see? easy, Very isn't it? This one we're yeah. keeping because we're going to use that again. Okay, okay. So this one now, I've got the poppies on it. So yeah, yeah, I'm just... Yes, dragonfly, dragonfly, yeah, dragonfly poppy. and poppy. Yeah. yeah. The one comes with a swirl. This is in the other set. Yeah, with the swirl. Yes. Yeah, okay. So I'm going back to my pearl again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a base colour the pearl is Down. a candle paint, yeah. Yeah, that's the candle but paint. This is proving how it goes on the different surfaces. Different like surfaces, said. yeah, exactly. It does, it goes on the slate beautifully, it goes on the wood beautifully as well. It gets a gorgeous um, sheen to it. So I'm just putting my base coat of the white. A little drop there. Okay, just go over a second time, just to make sure I got it. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding some colour in. So I've got my green brush. Now, what I'm going to do with my brain, I need to squash it down because I want to get, I don't want to get too much on the flower. So I'm squashing that down. And again, I'm just going to go where I need to add the detail. Uh, just in between, that's clever. Yep. So we're just adding... It's the same brush, we're just modifying and making it work for you. Like yeah, exactly. But you can do any colour you like. You can add the white highlight, a very fine brush. Okay. So that's what we do with that one. And then what I've got, I've got my pink again. So I'll make a combination. So I'm going to add, start adding... Some of the pink. But just a highlight, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. Not so just adding shading, to be honest, you know, just to give a little bit of colour in there. But you can see I'm not really taking much care when I'm doing it. And I'll take my white brush then and just go over that line to blend that in. Just to keep working with that ombre. Yes, yeah, so. Okay. And that one there. Okay. So when I take that off now, you can see Ooh, yeah, you've got the beautiful yeah. things. Now I'm going to come in again today, but I'm going to blend this with some more white this time. So yeah, I'm just using the leaf. You can see how quick these are coming together now. Yeah, you're not worried about it because the drying time of these is very... So sort of you're only putting a little yeah, bit of paint on Yeah, I'm only putting a little bit of paint on, yeah. yeah. So you're you, you layering. So you're layering. Layer. No, I'm not. And I'm just going to add in a little bit of the light a bit there so you can, you can see it more. Yeah. Okay. So really, really quick and easy to do. Number three. Okay, number can four. Can I hold that up? Yeah, of course more. you can. Right, yeah, you, yeah, you do that. Up, please. Thank you, Wendy. And then we, here we go, here's the third one. Um, you can see it when it really pops as well. Look at that leaf detail up at the top. The starlights are what's giving this the metallic shine uh, because you're stippling, you're pulling the gilding flakes up uh, to the top. They're, they're, getting, they're, they're getting shown, uh, they're attracted to the lights, so and then you get that reflection of that metallic quality. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So then I'm going to pop on the poppies and the dragonfly. I'm just going to stipple through. Really, really quick and easy. There you go. I'm going to take a little bit of the the white. Okay, I'm just going to add in highlights here and there. So when you take that off then, you've got the dragonfly. So I'm going to pop my second dragonfly there. And you can see <laughs> how quick and easy these projects are. And I'll get the white again. And we'll just pop it down there. So that's that one. Bring your leaf back in. <laughs> I said it was easy and quick. Yeah, you did, you did. <laughs> and you just, well, uh, you're just knocking through your stencils. You got them ready yeah, to soak I've got them afterwards. Yeah, yep. That's okay. So not worried about, we don't have to worry about stopping and cleaning in between. No. We know we're coming back to use them anyway. And because the candle paints, um, on the candle paint ones, they take longer to dry, they really quick come off quickly off your okay. stencils, yeah. yeah so, point. and then if I just add in a little bit of the white. I mean, you get your three colours. In this case, you've added your pearl in there for your fourth, but it's not a real colour, is it? Well, so you've got your three three colours plus your magic bullet uh, yep. in there. Yep. Um, and then you just sort of coordinate them and then you set a four coasters come together really yep. well. I'm just going to shadow that one slightly. So there you go. You've okay. got oh, your four. Thank you. If I bring in the ones that are dry, there they are. 
And I'll show you. Exactly the same. It took me exactly okay. the same amount of time. There okay. you go, it's well, a whole four set. That's the one that we did live just now, mm -hmm. just this second. And then the ones that you've already got that are dry. Oh, actually, the one that I really want to show is, I mean, they're all lovely, mm -hmm. Mandy, don't get me wrong. But the leaf one, you've really had time to go in and shade with yeah, that one, just haven't what, you? Yeah, use the we pearl. Because we did that freehanded shading mm. uh, with the gorgeous green starlight, but then the pearl colour from the candle starlight. And it just shows you, depending on whether it's normal starlight, glass starlight, or candle starlight, got you got can surfaces. go mixture of different surfaces, so don't worry. Now, protect them, all I do then is put a, a coat so of okay. spray Varnish on, or a you know coat of polyurethane varnish on it, and then they'll be mm. wipeable then. Okay, yeah, yeah. So because so, otherwise it's porous status, yes. of course, uh, as opposed to it being uh, um, you know, Im impervious. So mm. you put that. Put that Again, it's a really, place. really. You see how long it took. You could do them, rip them off as gifts, whip them off if you're doing a craft store, yeah. market for your charity. Then it really, really used to do, and they're cheap to, to buy originally anyway. Yeah, very, the very. Paints nice. look amazing on them. And the paints look great on the mixture services. Thank you, Mandy. Yeah. That's again a top-notch demonstration. Yeah, Thank you. Me. Really brings stuff what you can do with these starlights today. Um, we've used structure paste earlier on on our earlier demonstration. Here here it is with the spatula. Uh, normally we refer to this and say, oh yeah, that sold out yesterday uh, or whatever. Um, it's there, it's going, it's going fast, so do be quick. It's 10.99 plus delivery, it's 967.926. Uh, but then you've got your Magi Cuts as well. Uh, the Magi Cuts here are, oh sorry, the Magi Bond and Magi Blend. Uh, Magi Blend helps you do your dirty pour technique to mix in with your, uh, your, your paints and then you've got your dryers clear glue with your Magi Bond. Uh, they both come in a double pack uh, and it's 10.48 plus delivery. Two ones Seven five one nine. Uh, I wanted to tell you about the magic cuts because uh, uh, that's what I, uh, I thought <laughs> when, when I heard the word magic blend. I've got it wrong. It's late. It's, <laughs> late, it's, late. <laughs> it's late. It's a long um, day. So yeah, the magic cuts. The things I was talking about. Um, we can drag this photo in quickly just to make it look like I do know what I'm doing. Uh, so the magic cuts. Uh, there we are. You've got your chicken wire, your lace, and your wild flowers. You get five of them for eleven ninety five plus a delivery. One six five zero seven seven. Okay. Um, so maybe time check then is uh, just under well, about 10 minutes uh, left on the show or so. Um, so as far as, I don't know, something like a really quick technique because we can always... I'm going to go, uh, yeah, no, I'm going to go on to glass. Oh, okay. Okay. So we started this earlier on, but I want to show different colours, okay. Again, cheap glass bottle, okay, and this time I'm going to use the glass paints. Okay. So if I just get my glass paints forward, there you go. So I'm going to use a, a mixture now of the silver, I think, the silver and the blue for a change, this one. So just get some of the paint out there. So always remember, when you're using, um, I forgot to say about the candle paints, yeah. is make sure you're using um, a dry brush when you use them, because you don't put water into them. And um, it is important, and I did, I did forget to mention that. Okay, so, so dry brush. Dry brush, your, please, yeah. Your candle paints, no yes. water. We can remember that. I've got to say it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's sort of things in your head and you think, I've got, I've got to remember to tell people. I've got, to remember, to tell. Yeah, I've got to remember to tell. This blue is gorgeous. <gasps> Don't you just love it? And yeah. you wait now. Blue and the silver. Sex blue and silver. Yeah, they make look good. I can really tell you've good. been loving these. It takes a while for them to come out, doesn't I it? I know. I do use them. I have been using them a lot. Because I just, you know, you haven't used things for a while yeah. and you fall back in love with them. Yeah, definitely. That's what's you happened, yeah. I'm not going around the house now. Nothing's safe. Nothing. But it's nice, cheap, cheap. Any glass <laughs> jars, like, I'm going to put glass uh, starlights on you. <laughs> but it's like a nice, cheap bottle, again, and my, my mother got me in a charity shop, so it was really, really cheap. But I love the texture on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the blue. Oh, this colour is amazing, isn't it? Strong sapphire. It is amazing. Yeah. I'm going to pop it down flat there. So what I'm doing is I'm just Whoa. going... Are oh, you going to see? It's just lovely. Oh, wait, we, can, we can see the colour already. Oh, there you go. You get a nice shot of that. Oh, so this, I mean, you can pounce this and get right into those cracks. I quite like the look of having that third edition, having the clear coming yeah. through it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm just going... You have the layer, the, the embossed yes. layer, as it were. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just going over the, over the, the front bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the silver. Okay. So what we're going to create is a sort of an ombre effect. Okay. That's how easy it is. So I'm pouncing on the silver at the top, getting a nice coating of colour. Then what I'm going to do is, I'm pouncing here, but I'm going to start um, doing it more gently. Okay? okay. So I'm going to start going down here, but I'm going to start really to blend this in. Uh, it's so softly just. Yeah, yeah. So you get that gentle ombre effect yeah. on your on your on your glass oh, because and by yeah. So if I pounce it down heavy, you get that your, the your colour. Silver, yeah. yeah. But I want the silver. Good. See, I've got the, the blue coming up there now. But you do it really, really gently over the top. 
you start getting this really, really, because what happens is the silver mix on here with your blue, yeah. you see, and you get this gorgeous, yeah, can I tilt I that so you can see that. it? Yeah, of course you can, I yeah. mean, look yeah. at that, you get this gorgeous ombre. So you can pick easy. these up anywhere, these glass, these sort of glass bottles, and this is decanter. Yeah, yeah. But look at this, it's amazing. Earlier on, if I spin it round, we did it with the gold and silver. Oh, the gold going into the silver, yeah, that yeah. works as so, well. So again, you do the whole bottle like that, but what we can also do, if I pop that to there, yeah. we, did a, we started a glass bauble earlier on. I really want to get these and show you the, mm. what they're like on the surfaces. So this one here, we started the bauble earlier on, and I did it with the gold. So what I want to do is, if I get a pan, I just get it out, it's getting to the bottom of my jar now. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, what am I going to do tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. So, what I'm going to do now, again, this blue, I just love this blue, it's amazing. I'm just going to stick it over the top of what I got, because I'm, I'm just reusing it. So if you've you got baubles, yeah, yeah. they've already got colour on them, you don't Why? like it, get your glass paint yeah, you now. just change your colour scheme yes, up next because year. look yeah. at the coverage. You get only a little bit of paint, but full cover, like no priming or anything. You're going straight over another no, colour, straight over another which colour, which might well show through otherwise. But you can go straight over the colour. You can sponge it on. You can sip it on. You can actually paint the jar. This is my, one of my favourite ones. Paint the jar black. Okay, then get some bubble wrap or cling film. Screw it up. Get two colours of your glass paint and mm. just sip it all over. And yeah. you get some marvellous marbled effect. It oh. is gorgeous. Let's see some of these. So you can see, I've just done the half, but you can see, what I like is, the reason why I sponge this over the top is you can see, if you do a coat of the inside colour, one colour, yeah. the inside then would be the gold, Yes. and the outside would be yes. the blue. So you do your base colour, and then you put your That's a really other colour on top. That's a really idea. So you'd have people thinking, how did you get in there to get the gold? Exactly. Think, well, I didn't. I just put the gold on. How it's easy still is that? But it looks inside. amazing, doesn't it, from, from the inside? Yeah. So you've got the blue on the outside, and then whoop. That's such a Someone good one of the 60s chairs, doesn't it? You expect to see yes. Austin Powers in there or something. <laughs> so I've been that's the two. You. Yeah, exactly. Right, yeah. But that's it. Two really, really cheap, cheap ways of, of doing your glass. Yeah, these are uh, like, that's the word, isn't it? These are low cost uh, upcycling exactly, ideas. Exactly, exactly. Now I've got my candle paint here and I just want to really, really quickly get this one in for you. Again, I'm getting right to the bottom of these. We're okay for time here, maybe we've got just yeah. under five minutes. We're good, we're good for this one. So, what I want to show you is, if you've got a candle, I mean, we've all had them, haven't we? We've all had these candles we don't like the colour of. <laughs> okay, we really do not like the colour of them. So you think, or oh, it doesn't match my decor. Anymore. Yeah. So, here's one here, and you can see, this is really gold. This is real, really out there gold. And we've even got sparkle medium on it mm. as well. So, if I get the pink, okay, and I'm just going to, pattern. this is the candle paint now. Okay, so I'm just going to pounce over the existing colour. And this, I'm just in this area here, is how good the coverage is with these paints. Okay, so I'll push a little bit harder to get my sponge in there. Can you see? That is bright, quite a bright gold. Yeah. And we've added sparkle also, but we can go over that. Oh, that go. intense pink. There you go, and you can see that will cover all yeah. the colour underneath, so you can yeah. change any candle you've got to, yeah. to match, to suit your decor. And don't forget, you can blend these to create your own colours, your pastels. Use your, your pearl and blend yeah. it down into yeah, a soft so pink. Light, yeah, yeah. so if bit. I wanted to, I've got just a minute to, to do this. Lighter pink now. Yeah. If I were do. to do this now, I'll pop right there. I've still got the pink on my sponge. Yeah, good, good, because we need a little bit of yeah. that, I guess. But, but I could do... There you go. Do you see? see? So now I've got pastel pink. A lighter tone of pink. Yes, yeah. because I've used it. But it's still just as sparkly, still just as pearlescent in that metallic kind exactly. of way. Exactly. Because it's you're mixing it with another starlight. Exactly. Pearl, exactly. Pearl starlight. Yeah. So Handle you can just do that. Yep. So and again, if I wanted to blend the darker and the light one, I just pounce really lightly along where you've got that join line. Yes. And it really gives that, can you see that soft bend from the, from the dark yeah, that to the light, change. so you don't get any stripes. Yeah. And that's what the idea is. So do it, tone it to how you want it. You've yes. got that blendability yes, no, we'll finish um, that in order later. to do that. Mandy, thank uh, you. Uh, it's uh, a great idea to be able to upcycle something that doesn't quite match anymore uh, or give it that new, literally give it that new lick of paint. These are the colours that you're getting in your candle paints um, here from Imagination Crafts today. They go directly onto your candles. It's one coat if you want it. It's an ombre if you want it. It's a blend if you want it to make new colours. Use the darker colour, the dark orchid, or use the light pearl to tone down or 
tone up your colours. Um, you've got those as your magic keys. Uh, 814 519 to order uh, on that lovely Starlight collection. They go onto your candles. You can just keep an eye on it like you would any candle, but keep an eye on it. But you can then burn the candle still uh, as well. And with all these Starlights, they can go onto different surfaces too, uh, including your specific glass one and then your classic starlights that go on loads and, of different yeah, exactly. materials. Um, Mandy, thank you so much for the demonstrations, but this is the one day special um, that you will bring us tomorrow as well. Yes, 9am, 9 9. 1 1pm and also 5pm stock dependent. Um, but you're getting um, such an array here. It's a lovely little introduction to mixed media, isn't it? I love it because you've got your papers, you've got your magic cuts, you've got your stencils, which again, these stencils aren't just stencils, they're for the embellishments as well. So make your own embellishments. You haven't got to buy any more. Together with the magic cuts and the rice papers, you've got it all there. Yeah, yeah, it's all there with these mm. stencils. These are two, let's, let's have them at home. It's two A4 stencils. They're big stencils. They're big stencils. Yeah. You've got multiple elements to them. Love the ants. They're so different. I love the ants. So in there. cute. So brilliant, yeah. Um, and then you've got <laughs> that distressed sort of corner, the heart, that big focal image of the rose. Um, and then, of course, the magic cuts. Do anyone just tuning in who's new to all these? These are, are again, a genius those. product. And tomorrow I'll show you with those that you don't have to. I mean, I love rusty patinas, but I can make, show you how you can make them look rusty without yeah. the rusty patinas just using our sparkle mediums. Okay, just using sparkle mediums that way. Okay, so tune in tomorrow, 9 a.m. If you're watching this through the night, you might be watching this at 6 a.m. actually. And we're here talking about tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> while we're recording this, this is live for us now, just before 9 p.m. Uh, on a Thursday night. Um, but yeah. Tune in uh, all day Friday, 9 a.m., 1 p.m. and 5 p.m. with Mandy from Imagination Crafts. You'll see uh, the wonderful one-day special. We've got the rice papers here as well, uh, the A4 design. Uh, and, of course, it is the, the postcard from Paris designs here. So you've got all that strong yes, imagery. I'll be, and I'll be using that on to a candle tomorrow. So you have to use one candle. How to heat them onto a candle. Okay, so excellent. So we see rice paper going onto a canvas tonight, um, also going onto a candle tomorrow. Okay. Um, plus, if you've just tuned in and you missed the show, you can watch it again on Rewind. Uh, but you can see Yanis with, of course, Mandy at 6 p.m tonight as well um, so you can see that also on rewind we're about to play a menu that has somebody that looks very much like me wearing a dress i don't think it was me i'm gonna plausible deniability it wasn't me it's not me it's sister <laughs> Yeah, thank you so much for watching Mandy's show with Imagination Crafts uh, there. Uh, the Ugly Sisters, or maybe not so ugly, I mean, look at them, they're, they're lovely. Uh, you've got the Tonic Magazine Monthly Mega Deal, and also Imagination Crafts and Six Penny Memories all still to come. Hi, I'm Rob from Add Some Sparkle. My wife Jackie and I have been running Adson Sparkle since 2010 as a small family business. We were both very passionate about paper craft in general, and Jackie's particularly passionate with paper embroidery, which is one of the main things we focus on now. Adson Sparkle produced paper embroidery kits and products, which is taking a very old and traditional Victorian craft, bringing it up to date with a modern twist in the designs we use. And what's really special for me is the fact that we can get paper embroidery to a wider audience through working with her chanda. Future for Adson Sparklers, we'd love to keep working with her chamber to be able to bring more exciting and new products. We're looking at hopefully bringing some paper embroidery books out onto the market to add to the kits that we already produce and bring. So make sure you don't miss our Adson Sparkler shows on her chamber. luxury A4 cardstock is a must-have for any crafter. Available with a stunning silver finish, this versatile pack contains 30 250 GSM A4 sheets consisting of 10 glitter card, 10 mirror card and 10 matte mirror card. To add this to your crafty stash, please check out hochanda.com. Hi, I'm Lisa and I'm part of the Creative Expressions team. I've been crafting for, well, most of my life to be honest, and my passion is paper craft. Creative Expressions have given me the chance to spend my time drawing and bringing things to life, which I never thought I'd ever be able to do. So when you see me on TV, hopefully I can bring you something that will inspire you, whether you're a paper crafter, whether you're a die cutter, or whether you're a stamper. 
hope you get the chance to tune into some of my shows on Hochanza where I can share with you some of the creativity and some of the designing that I've been able to bring to you through my designs. Good afternoon, everybody. A warm welcome. I've been really looking forward to this hour. Allow me to introduce you to the lovely Jodie. Hello, darling. How, How are, are you? you? I'm fine. It's got so cold outside. It is freezing. What is... <laughs> Seriously, do not go outside. Stay indoors. Yeah. Get yourself a nice hot brew. What, your tea or coffee, yeah. girl? Oh, yeah. co coffee, coffee, girl. Me too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Milk, yeah. no sugar. OK, no, uh, I say, yeah, same. Just prone it out there. <laughs> Nothing's going to happen. Might get a glass of water, we start choking. Uh, can I say, this is really important because we're having a chat. Now, we said this last, last time, but yeah. genuinely, all right, seriously, as crafters, I just want you to see something. Look at this die. Now, we're focusing on our monthly Mega Deal, this magazine, but I want to draw your attention to this die. I'm going to turn this around to show you. Now, any crafter, and this, this sparked a lot of debate because we were all chatting about this. The size of this die, the fact you've got so many different components, this die you would pay, I think quite reasonably, $24.99. But we seem to have it on our system for $12.99. Now I'm going to put we it do. out there, that, that's a mistake. <laughs> it is a mistake. It, I'll tell you why. I believe it's a mistake on Tonic's behalf. I how really, much, really, really do. How much would you pay for one of these? All right, this is a $12.99 die set. And that is good value, okay? That's a $12.99 die set. This is not a $12.99 die. Now, I only say that because as part of this monthly mega deal, and please get hold of this now while you still can, because I know there's big meetings at Tonic, and I think next time we see a magazine, you're not going to get a die this size because it's just not feasible. But you're not even paying $12.99 for it because the magazine retails at $12.99. Okay. Well, that's £13. Done. That means that that's seven. Okay, all right, for seven, but then there's still more, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's ridiculous. But then how do you look at does it? You, you've right, got so, embossing folder and you've got stamps. Yeah, in your box magazine. Yeah. Okay. It's a magazine you kit. get the six part die set. Wait, you're getting more dice. You in are. There. You're getting a six part die set. You're getting a ten part stamp set. Yeah. You're getting an A6 embossing folder. You're getting 16 double-sided sheets of patterned papers and toppers. You're getting the magazine. <laughs> and then on the top of that, you're getting that huge 13-part die set. This is a Hochandra exclusive 13-part die set. Now, the way I would cement this in my mind, I would expect, and we see dies continuously, if you're a regular to Hochandra, you'll know that a die this size around about the 24 Absolutely. to 30 pound mark. Let's Absolutely. say 24. So you've more than covered your money right there. And this is a Hochander exclusive. You're getting the embossing folder that goes with the dies. You're getting the further die set, at, again, that all works together. And you're getting the stamps. We haven't even talked about the magazine. Don't tell me you're getting papers in there as you well. You are getting you papers. You are so kidding me. The papers that you are getting, you have got absolutely crackers oh. so the papers that you are getting yeah. you are getting two of each so two of that design two of that design uh -huh. two of that design and two of that design so that's eight that is incredible double-sided okay and the magazine itself is amazing you are you're then getting <laughs> two Toppers. Of that design. Which go with the embossing folders, go with the dies. Two of that design. And two of that design. All double sided. <laughs> yeah? So, that there is That's your ridiculous. 16 sheets of double sided and toppers in there. Now this is not magazine paper. You know when you, you see a magazine and it's splashed across the front of it, it says, and... 12 think. patterned papers and it's the same magazine paper yeah yeah just printed this is not oh, okay God, this is proper craft paper there's no stuff. there's no gloss on there so you can ink it you can stain it you can put yeah. your nouveau drops on it and treat it like you would a normal craft paper 
Anyone who's a regular will know the... I will never say anything just to give it lip service. The number one question I got asked from friends, family, anyone who finds out work at Hachanda, say, oh, tell us when you've got a really good deal. Yeah. We've always got good deals. Yeah. This deal right now is exceptional. If you're watching, please get involved because uh, next time you see a magazine, I'm telling you now, you will not have the magazine this permutation because I just don't... It's just not feasible. <laughs> What's that? It just tickled you. Take a look here. Tell me about these. What does Jenna's friends say, say to him? No. Why do you work at a craft channel? They do. They all like... I tell you what... That just tickles me. I'm no, sorry. That's what you were saying, right? <laughs> Since I started working here, do you know what I discovered? How many of my friends actually are crafters, genuinely. There we go. Oh, that Take really a look here. Me. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> so you have got your A6 embossing folder. Uh -huh. Now use it as a letterpress yeah. as well. I oh. mean, look how beautiful that, that looks with a letterpress. Stunning. Just normal pigment ink, Done. straight on your pad, straight through, and off Ooh. you go. Or gilding wax on black card, oh, star, mirror card. You've then got your beautiful 10 stamps in there. Now, these? these are not just for winter Christmas cards. No. You've got daisies in there in your strip. You've got sentiments in there. You've got shine. You've got beautiful little flower. You've got what could be a snowflake, mm -hmm. but maybe it's just a mandala and you colour it in in yeah. all, the, all the different colours. So you've got your stamps. Lovely. You've then got a six-part die, die set. So, outside edge, yeah. cut the detail in and it will also stay in your card. Wow. So that's one way, but the magic begins when we start to play with the corners. Oh. Because placing the corners wow. in different ways, you're going to get a different look. So that's one set of corners. Yeah. That's one set of corners. That's another set, and then another set. So you can start to build up all these different designs. And they're such distinctive looks and individual looks. The gorgeous looks, are, aren't yeah. they? Really, really pretty. But then... Oof, there's more. You have got your big, big beastie. Oh, yeah. And this is your beastie of a die. You've got all your mats, all your layers, all will work in conjunction with the actual star that comes Perfect. in your kit. Okay? So really really nice and this is where i mean in my mind it solidifies the fact that that is not a 12.99 no, not at no all. way no so way. that is all your celestial mat and layers yeah but then you've got all your corner brackets now all your corner brackets are going to allow you to be able to make an eight by eight card with no problem what look at, so i love that ever with the clouds so, baby cards Beautiful. Oh. Mother card. Something a little bit. Yeah. Uh, the burst cook coming out. I love that this one. This is nice. That looks stunning yeah. when it's done up in all the blues and everything. But just by matting and layering them, you can see all the different looks that you can get. This is nice. Regal. Yeah. But you can see. Ooh. That will also fit in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Can so be busy, everything yeah. mixes and matches. That even down. Is incredible. That's Even incredible. down to your embossing folder, you can see there that he fits perfectly within the embossing uh -huh. folder as well. I've noticed, by the way, that Dave got a card. I think you must have made <laughs> yeah, it for him. Yeah, but he's got it. it. You can tell when any of the presenters get given something that they really treasure, because he's got it on a desk, pride of place, he's going to be taking that home. It's a beautiful card. It is, it's absolutely gorgeous. And it just gorgeous. goes, this is not me fishing, I am just thought I'd show you. <laughs> so everyone's going, this is me fishing for a card. Where's my card? No, I'm only really kidding. Take a look at this. I mean, it is such a special it die is. set. So Dave's got the other one of those. Yes. It is absolutely beautiful. Just by Ooh. bringing in your rose gold, your satin board, your silvers, they are absolutely beautiful. But all the corners give you that detail yeah. aspect in the middle. That is that is fantastic. Okay, look, I've got to tell you something. We're over 40% of the stock. Now, if you're familiar to Hochandi, you see us do launch one day specials, and we might say we're at 40% of the stock in one hour. The thing is, it's all relative to the amount of stock. It is. The amount of stock you had for this I is like ridiculous. That. If you actually it's in watch the, thousands. If you actually I mean, watch the 8 a.m. show and just watch it, yeah. you'll actually see my face when I hear in my ear roll what the stock were. Because <laughs> I, I watched amount. it back myself and I thought, oh, Jodie, your <laughs> face tells it all. But the only reason I say that is because when I give you the update, I, we are very busy and I'm hearing how busy we are. 
don't miss out what you're getting value for money the papers the magazine kit you're getting this phenomenal showstopper of a die you're getting the embossing folder you're getting all these stamps and you're getting another die set all for 19.98 forget that six pound saving because that's to me deceptive you are getting so much more value for money you, you can see it for yourself well. yeah of course and the magazine yeah. itself it's worth 12.99 so uh, should we have a flick through the magazine as well when we maybe go to demonstration we can have a look we'll, we'll demo. yeah okay uh, let's go to the website busy do not miss out on the opportunity here great gift as well listen if you're looking for a gift for, to give maybe at Christmas to a crafty friend because you've got that kind of time, maybe a secret Santa, you can just give away the magazine in itself worth twelve ninety nine and keep all the other goodies for yourself. Uh, um, loads more on our website as well, so Cyber Deals do have a look because it's part of our Cyber 6 event. I love the, the magazine. This is a magazine that so it's not 81 full designs. of advertisements. No. Yeah, you know, sometimes I wear a craft magazine, every other page is an advertisement. Yeah, we've all been there. Yeah, so this one here. When you open it up, it tells you what you've got in there. Mm -hmm. It shows you how to do different things. It gives you the inspiration, the tips on how to do specialised things. And then you go through and everybody has done different cards, okay? There's something in there for the beginner, something in there for the advanced. Absolutely, all the way through... Step-by-step step instructions, see the pictures. All the step by, there's even cards in there that you can go onto mm. the website and, da and download how, how to do because there wasn't enough, enough room. There's inspiration in there. There's sneak previews in there. Oh, yeah. There's absolutely loads and loads of different things yes, and sir. offers from Tonic Studios. Yeah, and giveaways in yeah, there too. There's loads and loads of different things. So you've got £500 worth of Tonic comp competitions in there. Yeah. I mean, the media dies are all, all up for grabs. Yeah, Really, really brilliant magazine. Do you know what I uh, bought recently? The Jigsaw Media Dice. Yeah. I'm going to have me play with that. The Brill. Mm. Absolutely Brill. Right, so let's play with this large dice set. Okay. Because we can. Yeah. So we've already started to cut this out. So you That's can see there. Effect. I do. It's good, isn't it? So you can see there how mm -hmm. we've started to build this up. So we've got three already in there. This one is going to be the fourth. Nice. And we're going to tape that one down. So just tape it down, make sure it's sure. in the same place, and oh, tape. We have got cues on our phone lines. Do you know what, what about a bit of gilding wax, if you it, wanted it would to bring that out? It would look beautiful. Mm, dark card stock. It, it really would. Mm. And do you know, I think it would look nice paper pieced as well. Yeah. I think it really, really oh. would. So let's run that through, and then you're okay. going to get that beautiful starburst effect yeah. going on behind The fastest there. way to order right now is on our website, hochanda.com. We are flying at the moment. I think people are really appreciating value for money, and what you're getting with this uh, massive bundle is exceptional. I mean, look how beautiful that is oh. straight away. Is it, is it sending you, you funny? Mm. Look into my eyes. Mm. My eyes, my eyes only. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've got a bit of tape there. Okay, yeah. So what we've done is we've taken a background oh, that's nice. and we've just inked it up okay. with an ink pad, okay? Mm -hmm. And that is going to go straight over the top to give you Oh, I like that. That beautiful background. And you can put anything there. in there. It's you not can. just restricted to Christmas zone. It's a nope. point I know that you made earlier on. Yep. We made birthday cards with yeah. it. We've, we've made some anniversaries. So let's just add mm. the adhesive all the way around here. Nice. And then we're going to place that on the background. Yeah. And that is where we are going to begin. Perfect. Let's just make sure we've got none of that yellow showing. Okay. And that is then going to go onto my card blank. Mm. The point about this this kit is you can make so many different size cards. We've got wee diddy ones all the way up to eight by eight mm -hmm. fancy shapes. Could you make sorts. a gatefold if you split yeah. that centre? Yeah. That look quite cool. It'd look lovely. So that there is the beginning of where we're going. Okay. So we're going to play with all the different sizes. So we've got the largest. Yeah. So it's a nested die set. It is. So that's the largest. Oh, I tell you what you could do. Whoa. This is a little bit out there. But if you wanted to create kind of a space invaders kind of feel, turning it around, that'd yes. be quite good. We said putting the word the word wow or oh, yeah, pop that's cool, or yeah. pow. pow. That's the one. Pow. So let's run that one through. So that's going to give me a mat and a layer. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to cut a white one out as well. So that one has got a straight edge. Perfect. Also, the waist is just as good. <laughs> it's it's, it's very, look, you, makes you a nice attitude, waist. doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. And then this one uh -huh. has got little perforations. Oh, that's nice. 
Hey, now, when you yeah. Matt and Leia, special things happening. It looks good, doesn't it? Very good. So let's have one of the white ones. Okay, the Diddy. A little Diddy one. So all the way through. It's a craft. Uh, Jodie, as a crafter. Yeah. When you, especially when you're first starting out, yeah. would you be thinking of adding to your stash something that's versatile, but also value for money? Yes, absolutely. He's got to do more than one thing for yeah. me. I don't, don't buy it. As simple as that. I think this, this one trip pony magazine, is. it gives you the inspiration. There's something we don't want to detract from, because I know we're talking a lot about what you're actually getting for your money, but forget that for now. The magazine in itself, 81 inspirations, yeah. is invaluable. I think this is absolutely super. If you are buying a present for somebody and you have a cap and you yeah. don't want to go over that, okay. that cap, this is a yeah. brilliant price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For £20, you are getting so much stuff in, the, in there. It's just unbelievable. I'd be cheeky. I would be sorely tempted to get the magazine, keep the goodies, <laughs> and then give the, give the magazine as a gift to somebody. <sighs> So, well, Have a light thumb through, make sure you don't bend any of the pages. I mean, if you, if you have got, say, a craft group, yeah, yeah, and, you're, and your ladies pay you, say, £5 each week to do a craft class, yeah. you could get your ladies mm -hmm. to buy this kit, and how many projects could you do out of that over the four weeks? That is genius. Yeah, 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 because in there, you've got all your papers, you've got all your dyes, you've got mm -hmm. all your embossing folders, you've got all the ins inspiration. So everything you need and to And the ladies could literally work their way through that whole book That's in the great. four weeks, and then they've got the product at the end yeah. to take away. And also, these are transferable skills, because once you learn the techniques to use in here, you can be looking at your stash and employing the same techniques yeah. with your existing collection. Yeah. So let's just place all these little buds 